Actually, I wanted to start like this is this is for you. Oh. This is for you. We gonna keep it in the Jersey mix. Hey, Wait, why you trying to be like? He wants to be me so That's your bad. son. That's me, bro. That's your son. That's your son. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to know if I got the Reggie approval. I can't. Wait, I can't not approve this. This video game jersey. <laughs> I want to see someone do rocket tips. <laughs> of course, a super. What the fuck are you playing? I knew a Super Mario jersey. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> DJ Reg will be back next week. I let a guest take over my slot. You didn't and let look me. what the fuck happened. You didn't let me. I, I had to improvise. He blindsided me. This is like desperation. I'm like, oh, Reggie's not prepared. Like she didn't come in hype today. So I'm like, oh shit. Let me like get in my bag. Let now, me do what I do. But you found a video game jersey. Like, come yeah, on, that's man. Hard. That's for the nerds. Yeah, I, shout out to all the nerds. You ain't see the lady, like the, the girls that be streaming? Nah, oh, they're out there. They be super, out there. In yeah, Super yeah, Mario Kart, what, what character are you guys doing? Yoshi. Luigi. I'm not mad at it. Very typical. But get, wait, guess, <laughs> guess me. Uh, Toad. Peach. Oh my god, yeah! You look like a toad. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. wow. No, like, no, 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 no. 47 yeah. seconds no, into the episode, like, you are crazy. already coming from me. I mean, you look like a toad user. That's like, crazy. the people that use toad, they got yeah, like clean a it up. to them. Clean no. it up. No, he looked at me, he's like, yo, you look like a toad. <laughs> nah, like, I was going to say uh, peaches or something. No. Nah, that's too obvious. That's too, too obvious. obvious. She, she don't Why, get peach. Why, because I'm a woman? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I did, like, on everything, I, I always pick toad, because he's so cute. Now I can see toad. Like, like you just give, you just give off. Toad. And I feel like Toad is bald. He is. Could, when you take off the cap, like the <laughs> red thing. He's an original hatfish. He started hatfish. What does Toad look like again? Toad, he's the mushroom, mushroom head. It's the mushroom head. Oh, mushroom. the mushroom nigga. But it's a hat. That's a hat? I thought he was just one big mushroom. I, I thought it was a hat. Too. It's a hat. So if Ew. he takes Everything it off. Everything I knew was a lie. He's like, oh my God. Ew. Everything that's, I, he that's turned to Caillou. He turned to me. Make <laughs> <laughs> it look like me. Nah, he turned into Kai. You, that's crazy. What? Yeah, told is crazy. What's going on, y'all? It's the Need to Know Podcast. <laughs> we are back with another episode. It is what you need to know, when you need to know, on the Need to Know Podcast. I'll go by the name S to the A-V-O-N. <laughs> Wait, that one kind of works. You want to be Moesha so bad, nigga. Why Moesha? Wait, Alex, did you see his face after he said it? You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> You're not even doing it right now. S A V O. It's that light skin face. I, 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 Wait, I, I, S to the A V O N. I like the, that one works. Yeah. Yeah. To the, eat to, to the. the uh, yeah, I got them all. I got them all. Mm. All the all the fat bars just work oh, with my name, so that makes it work for me. S A V O N. That's the one. I like both. Now that's the one. Yeah, we can switch it up. I like today's is better. You like today's better? Yeah, All right, yeah, yeah. we can do that. We S switch to the up. A-V. We switch it up. Oh, yeah. S to the A V O N. That nigga's a rap. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But anyway, it's your guy, Savon. What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Chilling, chilling. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, A, as always. The Paco Rabon Poppy. Never alone. I'm always with the Pazzi. It's your girl, Reggie. R to the E G I N A. <laughs> Did that work? No? What so, the fuck going no, on? Wait, see, well, you, you, you tried to steal my swag. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I stole hold on. Now, that's now that's your feeling, son. Hold on. No, now I'm feeling a little insecure because you guys didn't react in a good way. No nah, one like hyped me up. You know how you reacted to my jersey mix? <laughs> I, don't know, I, I started dancing. You didn't see me? Nah, nah. I gave, it I was gave, a fake. Stop dance. projecting onto yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, 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 how you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling so good. I ain't gonna lie. Last week so. we um we kind of shit it on Hot 97. Well, I shit it on Hot 97 a little bit, and the pals that be over there. But um, I feel like we, were, we were all open and honest about it. We yeah. were kind of we were all yeah, but Savon kind of shit it though. Yeah, yeah, but you can shit a little bit. You can shit a little bit. Sometimes you got to move your bowels. Um, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> talking about High 97, like, I was thinking about the street team. You know, how street we used to have oh, street know. marketing. Oh, all okay, that okay, shit. Okay, like, okay. there's like foot to ground, hand to hand combat, like just man on the street. Yeah. And every single weekend since the sun has come out, because if you live in New York City, you know that the sun has been out. Mm-hmm. Facts. The sun has yeah. been out. And New York City summers are nothing to play with. They Different. are here. Different. Somehow it brings over the New Jersey residents. Oh, right, sure. like they down Jersey, the they migrate over to New York each as soon as the sun comes out. But when the sun's not out, they stay in Jersey. You getting shady but, right now? Nah, I'm oh. just saying. Like, I'm just ignoring him. No, just <laughs> it's like, Damn, Reg. just my folks, and you know, I got mad people in Jersey. Oh, okay, I got, okay. I, I got right a there. lot of love. You know, I always be in Jersey. Yeah, no, you know? we know. Yeah, so oh. we do. <laughs> the silence. You're not know, because Joe. You know, Joe's uh, Joe's over there. Right? Uh, Why you ain't know that off rip though? Nah, I forgot. 
I forgot. <laughs> He's like, how did you guys know that? He said, I do be in Jersey. <laughs> no, nah, but um, yeah, man. Re- Reggie somehow she became the street team for the Need to Know podcast. Yeah, I really early, don't. No, like, genuinely, I if you guys have been listening to our pod for like a, like the one or two years that we've been talking about it, like I'm not really, I don't, I'm not outside like that anymore. Cat. But now I cannot. <laughs> I, I, I would be lying if I said I'm not. I don't know what it is. I've been outside like this year. Yeah, but it's things you want to be a part of. Yeah, I think it's because yeah. I've been hanging out with my girls so much. We always go to brunch. We always go to a party afterwards. Yeah. And then what Savon is referring to is on, I think, Sunday, I was lit hitting the chat like, oh, my God, God. <laughs> Every time I run into people, I hit up the chat because I just need people to witness this. I went to the Tompkins Street. What do they call it? The block party? Yeah, the block um, party. In Brooklyn. Very popular. Was mm-hmm. originated to help the businesses there, mm-hmm. and now just turned into a full blown block party. But like literally, we all three of us and Pierre as well, like we get recognized outside. You know, we have a good listenership, so we have gotten recognized. It's nothing new, but like yeah. every time it happens, it's like so surreal to me. Like no, it honestly. is so surreal. Like when I was walking, my friends will. If you guys ever see my friends, they'll tell you. Like at one point, it was like everyone that was passing by was like, "Oh my god, I listened to the pod too. I listened to the pod too. What's up, Bridge?" I was like, "Oh my god." That's a lot of energy right there. It was there. so crazy. That's like, a lot of energy right so, there. We were, wa- we were buying like the juice pouches, like the adult Capri Suns. And okay. then the guy was serving us whatever. He's like, yeah, $15. And then a guy that was walking past me was like, yo, Reg, need to know. And I was like, oh my God. Oh, shit. Hey. But then once that guy walking past saw me and the guy selling me the juice was like, yeah, shout out to Save On It, Alex. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Wait, wait what? hold on. Yes. Hold on. Yo, shout out to you too, King. Yes. He, he reposted <laughs> me on a story. His love hugs Sangria. Shout out to you. He was, he was like very like, wow, I listened to the pod. But it was a lot of people. My friends were looking at me like, what the fuck is going on, Regina? Like, so yeah, you yeah, saying yeah. they don't need to know on the block? <laughs> L- no, literally, it felt good it's, it's real people. What? They say they, they, Literally the block of what? party. You saying when we pull up on the block, they know niggas. Period. I'm glad you guys weren't with me because That's it would have so, been so a frenzy. Oh, it's like, stupid, y'all. Yeah. Look what Alex is proud to be known. <laughs> I was like, yo, on the block, you heard? Like, I feel you, though. That's close to my heart. Yeah. Like, I, know, I know. Where I'm from and shit, like, they be knowing me. That's hard to me. Mm-hmm. That's hard. That's nah, because Alex, Alex was raised in the streets. Don't so. do this. Don't do this. Oh, oh, I wasn't raised by hyenas. <laughs> hyenas is different. I say hy- hyenas. Uh, well, yes, nah, shout out to you suck, guys. Though. It's up this summer. We're going to yeah. see each other outside this summer. Sure. And thank you. Like, I try to remain as calm as possible. Like, I never want to let it get to my head. But it was really so many people, guys, that came nah, up right. to me. We're like, oh my God. It's overwhelming sometimes. Yeah. That, yeah I, like, I had, um, I went, so I don't know about y'all, but like, when yeah. you clock into work, are you like a different version of you? Or you just you all the time. I'm genuinely a catfish at work. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> so the moment I walk into the building. All right. So the only thing that <laughs> remains the same about me when I go to work is I keep my hat on. <laughs> like story. everything else changes. Like <laughs> yeah. whatever, because you you know you just you know, you whatever like the case a, may be. The like, corporate corporate I have a really corporate, really yeah. really corporate job too. So sure. it's a little bit different. So today we actually did like this team lunch, team dinner, whatever the case may be. Wow. Uh-huh. And so we walk into this restaurant. And we have a phenomenal time and then we leave. So I do want to apologize to this young lady. I don't know who she was, but we were walking out of the restaurant and, you know, she's doing a job. Hey, thank you for coming. Have a great time. And then she like did a double take and she looked at me and she said, oh my God, I I know you, right? (laughs) <laughs> Wait, who is it? This is someone in your know. company or just No, at the this restaurant? is somebody at the restaurant, okay, okay, a okay. server, mm-hmm. and a hostess, whatever. Were you around your coworkers? When I was with all of my coworkers. Oh, that's fire. Yeah. I was with all of the coworkers. Yeah, like, yeah, like co- him. You know what I'm saying? So I like that. I like when, that they saw that. Facts. I yeah. had to look her in her eyes. I like that. And in, in just a quick moment, I scanned and I just wanted to go through my mental Rolodex of how do I know her? <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Because okay. now I'm thinking, like, Oh, it's a combo De- twenty eight. Depending on the circumstances, I don't know if was we know each other. Trying to trying to flash back to where do I know each other? Or was it Puerto Rico twenty seventeen? <laughs> <laughs> Which one was it? <laughs> I think it was the verbiage. I think it was the way that she said it. Like sometimes when people recognize it, they'd be like, "Oh, hey, how you doing?" Like you I can tell they listen doing. to the pod. But yeah, she yeah. said specifically, "Like, don't I know you from somewhere, mm. girl?" In front of my boss. Mm. Oh. And so my man is just looking at me like, hey, um, what's that about? And your fight or flight kicked in? And yeah, I was like, you know, man, I got a real familiar looking face. I'm a basic looking nigga. <laughs> no, you didn't You're really that. not. No, nah, I told him that. <laughs> no, I looked my manager dead in his face. You, you a mob player? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She bought it? I got the generic face. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if he bought it. I don't know if he bought it. Okay. He, he definitely, like, he gave me some cool points because he was like, you know, yeah. even if she didn't really know you, maybe she was trying to get to know you. <laughs> like, she doesn't oh, yeah. like the weird <laughs> corporate shit. But yeah, shout out to all the people that come up to us and support us. Wait, so yeah. that, we do not, that lady was a listener? Or? I, you know. 
I don't know. <laughs> oh, I thought this story was going to progress. I rushed out of the <laughs> restaurant. It? No, yeah, I just ran out. When oh, she you getting scared of the supporters? That's crazy. That's um, crazy. Yeah, I got flustered. To, I ain't going to lie. I got flustered. You're supposed to be like Reggie and like say what's up. No, I, 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 got, I got a little I get bit flustered. I so hyped. Ask anybody who has met me in person. When they say this is the pod, I'm like, oh my God, it's like a video. It's like a video. Let me put on my story. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, man. I got maybe if she just, just try a different approach. Don't say, oh, I know you from somewhere. Because I don't know you. Like if you might say, hey, you look familiar, whatever. Like, but I don't know you. So yeah. It's weird. Damn. Maybe she was one of the silent listeners. Shout out to y'all again. Yeah. Y'all held it down. Oh, yeah. I oh, told y'all yeah. as a yeah. podcast listener, yeah. right. I am one of them. I am yeah. one of them people. Like, I have a, a plethora, a Rolodex of podcasts, of yeah. content creators that I listen to, and mm. I will never, no matter what, I don't know what it will take for me to be like, yo, salute. Yeah. But well, they're a part of my yeah. life. What, and it, what made you ask that? What made or me not, ask? Not what? ask, but what made you shout them, like, out. Shout them out? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I understand, like, Certain podcasts have been a part of my weekly routine for like almost a decade now. Yeah. Like since I was working in a fucking like never warehouse. Miss episode. And mm-hmm. Like I have never missed an episode of certain podcasts. And so I know what it's like to listen to something every single week, expect it every single week, and just never show public support. Yeah. And like what it is that we're doing, the stage that we're in, like that public support is you know the 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 straw that could break the camel's back right mm-hmm. like when you don't feel support even though the numbers say niggas is listening to us but when you don't feel it or when you don't see it or when you're like damn am i not doing enough mm-hmm. yeah um y'all know comparison is the thief of joy mm-hmm. thank you that's an alex parable nah i stole it from somebody all right. we all did not make that that is a common yeah, phrase we all teach <laughs> damn we all teach but he's the originator of me so i give okay. him the credit I'll give, I'll give so it whenever it. somebody <laughs> asks me where i got it from he's the I'm author just like, for that no one. everyone says that but okay <laughs> And then I say somebody else's name when they ask where I get it from. <laughs> but shout out to the song supporters because they are non problematic. Yeah. That's the oh, other yeah. thing, too. Right? That's the other yeah. thing, too. Like the really vocal right? ones be like coming at us every week. And salute to y'all, too, for yeah. talking shit. Yeah. Continue. Actually, continue. 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 Yeah, we love it. Helpful yeah, engagement. Genuine, but yes. you could tell the people that are just don't communicate with us at all, you could tell they really just love the content for the content yeah. and have used it as part of their daily schedule. So salute to y'all, man. Yeah, because I'm a silent supporter as well. With every other thing in life, I'm very vocal. But with yeah. podcasts, I don't comment a lot. I'm a silent supporter. Same. And like, even when I disagree with them or they say something stupid, I don't comment. So that's why I love you guys. <laughs> Silent supporters, because even if you think we're like stupid or we said something weird, like you, yeah, they they just like listen to it. They're like, okay. And the crazy thing about the silent supporters, and we'll move off of them real quick. (laughs) But the crazy thing about the people who support in silence is that they are the ones who are telling other people about us. Yeah. Gotcha. Like, they the are the fan. ones who like. It's not the niggas that be talking about us. The people that are in the comments, (laughs) those are the ones who (laughs) can be like. You know how they say there's a thin line between love and hate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will show you that thin line. They teeter it very quickly. The people who are always, and, and again, please leave the love. I don't yeah. need no hate. We love you. Nah, but that's that's <laughs> the difference between the silent supporter and the person who's under our shit. Like as soon as shit goes left, they're going to be the first people to like kick our back. Like slander us. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they go after you. Yo, every, I, I can tell you right now, I look at my phone, there's at least three, notification, three notifications or however many, but all of them are all about Savon. What? And, and they're negatively about Save yeah. Leave my man alone, like, y'all. Yeah. On Instagram? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn. Everywhere. Yeah. I don't it's know. Wild. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. I, yeah. They, they, they love hate you. <laughs> Why do you get so much hate? I don't Savon? know, bro. Let's not, no, you we do don't have to talk about but like Save Wong gets so many hate comments. Like, why? I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, do you think it's know. like your takes? Like, is it the <laughs> way that you present yourself on the pod? Like, why? He's a nice guy in person. He's very nice guy. I'm a basic face bitch. No, you're not. Look at I'm a basic face ass nigga, bro. Oh, so it's like when you got just a generic no. looking ass face. You like, don't have you a generic face. You don't have a generic face. So what y'all trying to say? I look what like? you did to the people? How would I look like? Though? You look unique. You look like Savon. You like soap. That's not like that? a backhanded compliment. <laughs> right. Yeah, if you guys said <laughs> really, no, no, no. Like, if, come if, on, son. No, if, if Savon or Alex told me, yeah, Reg, you look unique. I would, I would cry. I would cry. <laughs> like and just... run away. <laughs> what you mean unique? That's ugly. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Salute Fuck to them, you, bro. Pierre. <laughs> I love you too, bro. Salute to Pierre, bro. Matter of fact, except for last week. Matter of fact, you're a, you're a fucking champion. You know that? <laughs> oh Jesus! You took it like you took it like. Uh, yeah, hey, man. what did oh. I take? Like, Who are what? you, and what have you done you, with Pierre? You you took it, man. You took it. Stop. What? Why, you, it. Wait. why you gotta say all that, Alex? You took it too, Alex. I took what? Yeah, y'all did that. I did y'all what? Ate, y'all ate the chip like men. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I mean, we did that. Say, well, we almost, you almost scared us a little bit, but <laughs> Alex, you, you went out like a champ. I had to, man. Yeah, yeah. My African ancestors were looking at me for many years ago. Okay, yes. you made them proud. I'm Thank not you. gonna lie. Last week's episode, if you're new to the podcast, please go check it out. We did the one chip challenge. It is yeah. worth it, guys. Um, the <laughs> podcast ended abruptly. 
<laughs> at hour, at one hour and twenty two minutes. It was not planned. <laughs> um, so a lot of people yeah, kept no. asking me, "Why did you do that?" I'm like, "Yo, I didn't know we was doing this." Nah, P. Like, set us up. I follow the dark skin <laughs> niggas on the pod. Salute, <laughs> literally. Salute, like. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> it was Pierre's idea. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> and then we got Alex, yeah. the other <laughs> on the pod. <laughs> he just went and ate the chip. I thought that's what shot. So me. at that point, <laughs> between the two of y'all, I felt mm -hmm. like I had to indulge. I thought that's what you were supposed to do. Every challenge I've seen, they just consume the whole chip. Yeah. I didn't know you were supposed to eat it in bits and parts. And well, you did that. <laughs> we did that. And honestly, I did no research. So whatever happened was going to oh. happen. So thanks. This is why, and shout out to Pierre actually said this. It's yeah, a top yeah. comment on our Instagram reel. Go check it out. It's hilarious. His top comment has like 50 likes. Is this is why women live longer than men? Because I, you just, I feel like with common sense, didn't you guys know that like it was see, not safe? See, you like, talk about nothing told you to not do see, it, guys. Like you talking about common sense, Reggie. Us men talking about common pride. Uh, that's Frax. what we. It was pride. You could see his name on his face. Yeah. Like after Alex ate it, you could see it in his face. He's like, he just fuck it, I'm doing. It. <gasps> like that's yeah. that shit we have as men. Yeah. I didn't yeah. want to do it. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to do it. And then but also, you did it. I think there needs to be a study on the difference between Africans and African Americans. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, I really what? do believe there's a science <laughs> to oh, something that, is. that American <laughs> shit. <laughs> we lose a lot of our superpowers <laughs> just by being associated with that part. I'm so serious. Alex really did like. All jokes that like, you really did have, like your like your superpowers kicked in yeah. that, the, because the, the chip was spicy. He did have a big piece of it, and yeah. he just kind of like he just kind of like waved it off, like he just ran around the block once. And he was like, "I'm good, I'm good." <laughs> That's the rough foliage in my system. <laughs> like we come with extra rough foliage, you know what I'm saying? We able to break down things at a high rate, high capacity, regardless of the temperature of the food, etc. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Next crazy. time I got you, bro, I'll, I'll take it for you. Yeah, the funniest. Hey, 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 hey. Nice <laughs> problem, my muffle. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> the funniest part for me. So reviewing the, the footage, I was looking back. I was like, wait a minute. Why is Savon's shoes off? <laughs> Didn't think anything of it. So on the ride home, I'm like, you know what? Let me call on him. Let me call him to make sure he's Check all in. right, right? Yeah, my God. So I'm talking to him and I'm like, yo, bro. At the end of the conversation, I'm like, yo, bro, just one last thing. Why, why did you have your shoes off? Yo, he, he took a moment and said to me, he didn't want to crease his J's. <laughs> Because he was bent of, over throwing I, up, guys. I, I, out, of, out of all things to be worried about. <laughs> Honestly, though, Pierre, right. one chip challenge or not, Savon just loves taking off shoes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a like, legit excuse. <laughs> like, fuck it, let me take my shoes yeah, off. He's trying to get comfortable. He's like, you know, I got to take my uh, shoes off. There's so much that happened, like, in the frenzy. Like, once Savon started, like, you know, feeling the effects, everything kind of heightened in the moment. It was very yeah. intense. I remember, like, we only had the milk, and then they... We were like, guys, like cut the cameras off. Let, let's go to the store. I, I was like, I'm free. I'll be the one to go to the store. And I was like running out. And Alex was like, Regina, where are you going? And then I was like, I'm going to get Gatorade and water. And then as I was running out, Alex was like, because everyone is like yelling and screaming, guys. It was very frantic. And all I remember, I was thinking about this laughing today. And Alex was like, take the company car. Take the company car. And I was like, I'm running. I'm like, no, 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 no. Hold on. Let me yeah. He was like, take the company car. I'm like, Alex, it's Gary. I'm not a broke bitch. <laughs> I said, yo, take, take the company car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the no, car. And I was like, Alex, it's six dollars. Yeah. Mind you, I'm burning up. I'm like, make sure you do it on all expense. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not a broke bitch. And I ran off. Nah, this is, I could have tested uh, that conversation because it was right by the door. Oh, my God. Right, yes, nah, yes. That's, it was, that's, yeah. that's great. I, I do not recommend you folks do this shit at home. Real talk. <laughs> Although we got through it, I don't know if you will. And there was a casualty to this. Casualty to this. Yes. Um, so be careful you decide to do this. You know, it's it's not easy. Real quick, the hardest part of that one chip challenge for me personally wasn't the during of chewing it or bite. It aftermath. was definitely the <laughs> aftermath. Wait, you guys didn't update us. Oh, quick oh, update. Sure. So how, how, how do you feel like <laughs> that <laughs> night? That night. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna tell you that night for me. <laughs> I didn't sleep. You didn't sleep. I didn't sleep. Were much. you scared? No, my body wouldn't let me sleep because it was trying to release the heat that was in my stomach. Oh my god. I did was smoke a little weed. That shit was right out my system. For real? Oh, yeah. yeah. I so, probably had like three, four blunts that night. I so know what it is. When you got on the toilet, yeah. you ain't feel no Nothing heat. out of the ordinary? No heat? Nah. Are you lying? Nah, nah I'm being dead serious. Hmm. I was looking for it. What kind of African? Wait. I was looking for yeah. it. I think it was the weed. <laughs> Yo, Alex, what did you, let's, let's oh, also shit. do this. About to break it down. Savon and Alex, tell us what you guys had to eat during the day. Oh, that's Leading up to that point. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. I'll go first. Uh... Come on, son. <laughs> I had a um a plain bag of Lay's, Lay's potato chips. Okay. That's it. So I think uh my body was better, better ready equipped. for that. Okay. Yeah, better, better equipped for that. Okay. Yeah. Save them. I didn't plan on eating that chip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we know. everything I put into my stomach that day was just a regular day for me. Like a little bit of hot what? wings, sweet chili wings. Tequila. I went to Soho House, a little tequila on the side. You know what I'm saying? It's a Tuesday. Cheesecake. Like, oh, yeah, I had a little bit of <laughs> cheesecake. Yeah, I had a little bit of cheesecake. This a regular day. <laughs> it was just a regular day for me. Like, I didn't know oh, that we was going to get hit and do this fucking challenge. Like, cheesecake. The crazy thing is Pierre said, yo, I got a surprise. Yeah, like, I hate him, bro. And now you just taught me a valuable lesson, and I hope men out there take this lesson oh. and they apply it to their lives. When in, any of like your male friends say they have a surprise for you, it's never good. No. That's it's why I hate surprises. One, going to hurt you or bring you physical pain. Yes. Two, is going to enable you to cheat on your girl. What the fuck? So whenever your man says they got a surprise for you, what a spectrum. just know nah, it comes some. with consequences. Yeah. Like You shouldn't accept, just like we don't really accept gifts from many people like that, like you shouldn't accept a surprise from your male friends. Especially when he's smiling. That's how we show all love. teeth showing. Yeah, like when your homie's showing all teeth, <laughs> yeah. so bad. That's See, how we like, show love. For me, when I surprise I people, I just don't say anything and it's like a legit surprise. Yep. I don't give you like the, the forecast, hey, I have a surprise for you. Like for Alex's birthday. Yeah. You had no idea. Aww. I had no idea. I just told you people like, yo, pull up, come no through, idea. it's your birthday. Yeah, hey, let's get some up. pizza. Let's get some, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like a genuine surprise. Like, so when they walked through the door, mm -hmm. my guy was really surprised. Oh, dear. But with a nigga like Pierre <laughs> who tells you a month in advance, hey, man, I really got a surprise for you. <laughs> just beware of those kind of people. Yeah, no, it, it, was, it was two surprises. This next one that I got coming up. Uh -oh. It'll be something different. And keep it won't hurt. Shit. It won't hurt. What nah, was about to say, Alex? That. You on my op list, so just keep your mouth shut. Now. Yeah, keep uh, that. Love y'all too. <laughs> keep that. Keep that. <laughs> Speaking of the one chip challenge, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to take this credit, but the, the small, my ego, yeah. going back to that ego thing, that I really got to figure that out. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I really got to figure that shit out. I thought out. you was in therapy. But that don't help the ego. That just helps. Then the pain. what is what therapy supposed to help? Wait, you don't want to you don't want to work on it with your therapist? I like my ego. Y'all like some, a, a little bit is like good. Some fucked up shit about you. A little bit is good. A little bit of ego is good. You have to Hell a little yeah. bit. Even yeah. I can like, say that. Like, even like, I will question. say that. What's that's one of the things that's fucked up about you that you like? I kind of want to keep that. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be perfect. I don't want to walk around this earth and be like, oh my God, I'm so fixed. Perfect is so boring. Like, no one wants to be That's fixed. what I'm saying. You got to be in perfect a little so bit. So you got to keep a little bit of me in you. Yeah. But e Pause. Yeah. I, nah, it's probably not. <laughs> but ego though, right? Like, ego could be so destructive. That's why I said a tiny bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like a, a tiny smidge. bit. Not that it equates to confidence, but it's very like, it's very like, I'm, I'm me. Like, the fuck? Right, like, right. yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that the one fucked up thing you would keep inside you? I don't know if that's <laughs> fucked up of me to be like I'm her I'm really her like I don't know so what's fucked up in you that you like I want to keep that that one uh... chip <laughs> that one chip still in me keep a little grit on my side I don't know what is fucked up about me guys uh, I don't know because you really do this thing where you just come off better than us and it works <laughs> I don't mean to I mean, no, she, it works she might be no I'm not even mad that's like, not I'm true not, she guys. might be though I ain't it, gonna it works. like yeah, yeah, yeah she's way more developed and, Maybe. and wholesome yeah like, she might be I be trying to test that shit too sometimes. I know no, no. Like, no, I know I hit up like you I'll no. just say some wild toxic shit <laughs> no your tests though are easy to pass like in the, on the pod you'll be like yo Reggie you never cheated I'm like no <laughs> that's your test <laughs> he's so straight up with nah it. but on Patreon I asked you some shit and I didn't think she was going to answer that shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, our Patreon is coming back soon. Oh, yeah, let's, let's. Uh, we, we yeah, already I shot. asked her some shit no. on Patreon. <laughs> yeah. And I, like... We already shot I, some out. Wait, which one? I felt uncomfortable. My dating preference? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Oh, I the was... pregnancy scare? Yeah. That's not that toxic. Everyone has had a pregnancy scare, no? Yeah. <laughs> the silence. Nah, yeah, I think you have one of them. I felt yeah, that's like a rite of passage. Oh, is it? Oh, for sure. Especially when we're when young, you having raw we're, sex? we're stupid. That's a, rite of, that's a rite of passage. Explain to me. If you having raw sex and uh -huh. you ain't had one pregnancy scare yet, you ain't fucking right. That Shoot. dick ain't working. Shooting blanks. <laughs> Shooting blanks. <laughs> Shoot, look, come on, man. That dick ain't working. <laughs> if, if any young nigga tell you he ain't never had a pregnancy scare, that shit ain't working. He need okay. to go drink that some water. That is not toxic. That is just so regular. <laughs> that shit ain't working. But yes, Patreon, guys. Yeah. I think one should be out by now. Please sign up. Uh, Patreon.com. Nah, I'll come out in a few weeks, but they gonna oh, get shit, that. Bad, nah, right. they gonna get that. Don't worry. They gonna get that. But yeah. genuinely, though, we the episodes are recorded. We're not gonna leave you hanging. Yeah, They're coming, real. guys. Real, real, real. Subscribe. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like to test uh, Reggie's you know, gangster a little bit sometimes. <laughs> like, you just got to keep your friends got on to. their toes. You, got got, to. you, you have I agree. to. Like, I, agree. I, think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's really important. Y'all yeah. still didn't tell me the fucked up thing y'all want to keep within you. <laughs> I got I got one. Uh, but, yeah, you go for, first, Pierre. Go, Pierre. So, I'm extremely competitive um, by nature. <laughs> I couldn't tell. And a lot of times, it's to my detriment. 
So why didn't you do okay. the one chip challenge last week? Exactly. When you saw your niggas do that, that. wouldn't like have been real, to his detriment. Like real so, men, because back here I'm orchestrating a lot. Like real men. So to do like all that and take the chip would be a lot more. So a lot more and a lot. I'd rather take a lot. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. So all right. If it if it doesn't make sense, mm-hmm. that means you're thinking about it too hard. But if it makes sense, that means you're not thinking about it enough. So. <laughs> oh shit! This, I have no idea what you just said. This nigga's motivational hey. now. <laughs> oh shit! So, at least so you know. Down. At least you know up here a little bit. The overly competitive can be to a detriment sometimes. At least you know. Yeah. yeah. But to, to yeah. what Savon was saying too, it's kind of it makes me who I am. Yeah, so it brings out saying. the best in you. Yeah. Got you, got you. Um, I feel that. But also being overly competitive can make you do things that you don't want to do. Yeah. Like, if you were on this couch right now and we did the one chip challenge and you didn't want to do it, mm. but out of competitiveness, you forced yourself to do it and I don't know, like your stomach got fucked up or you had to go to the hospital. <laughs> See, that's all because you're competitive. Facts. Yeah, that's a fact. When you could just say no. Facts. <clears throat> um, I would go, I got a little bit of that only child in me for real, but I'm not one of those corny ones where... <laughs> they don't talk to nobody. What what parts of you are only child syndrome? Because you, I, I, I told you, you a million times, like he's very well adjusted. Like, yeah. yeah, I can tell you. Like, I like my space when I need my space. Okay, what well, can yeah. can relate? Oh, yeah, no oh, shit. oh, I know. <laughs> oh, brother, here you go, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> but continue. <laughs> you got anything else to say? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I did ask like my space when I needed. No, funny Here, but what's y'all real? Like, I want to get to really know y'all before we get into the bro. Bullshit. Tell me I don't. topics. No, I know. I'm not. I'm you not saying you're lying. Very... No, I'm I know not, you're not. I'm really I'm not trying saying to think. You're lying. Though. Like, and what's the one thing you would be like? You know what? I should maybe. Fix this? May, yeah, maybe. I, I I don't feel comfortable telling the people I love this. Like, what is that for y'all? Space. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's not like I'm dead. Something... No, but that's not something you can't tell people. Like, nah, we all you can't space. tell some people that shit. No, well, you then can't. They're no, not. You... They're not the right person for you. I right, best. So now I don't feel so bad. Like, where are you really <laughs> fucked up at? Like, you guys know me so well. Tell me. Tell me my flaws. I don't know. You come off like you don't like for me. I am. You, extremely... you overprotective, Reggie. Are you overprotective? Maybe. Are you jealous? Am I? Are you je- are you a jealous person? Yeah. Not really. No. Yeah, I don't no. got no jealousy. <laughs> I'm not really that jealous. Not that jealous. Not Especially with my friends, like if they hang out without me, if they take a picture without me, I'm not like. What about with your man? Like, uh, what yeah, about that's you what I'm going to for. Like, cause yeah. your man is kind of ill, so like he is. But <laughs> what if you just see? He doesn't really give me a reason to be jealous. If he's around, she other, good. That girl is good. If he's around other women, I'm like, okay, have fun. That yeah, girl is good. I, I really wish some days that I didn't like her man. <laughs> so you can, but so you I do. Just, like, like, I really wish I didn't like her man so But bad. he's so cool. Like, he's like, like oh, fuck, bro. Like, but you respect him too much to like yeah, for sure, say anything. For sure, right? for sure. Absolutely. I would never. I think for, like my impulsivity is the thing that's going to oh. fucking take me out one day if I don't get it under control. <laughs> like, I know that. I know that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, and that's like. So what is that? That's what I'm trying to get to. And maybe y'all don't got that. Maybe I'm the only flawed one on this podcast. Nah, I'm super flawed. It's all right, I'll be that. My <laughs> nah, ego, I'm super flawed. my impulsivity, my toxicity at times, <laughs> uh, my lack of self awareness when going. I'm engaging with like friends and relationships. <laughs> like I got shit in the tuck. Well, I know I gotta work through it. What is my worst traits? That's like, a lot. I wish I didn't ghost some people sometimes. I'd be like, damn, why I did that. That that hurt me. That hurt you. I've told you guys this before. I be pocket watching bitches. Okay, <laughs> pocket watching is nasty. <laughs> that's not, that's, see, that's, that's, a, no, that, that's a ter- right. that's a terrible trait. I should that's not true. do that. Women in particular. No, everybody. Oh, you just call the niggas bitches. <laughs> Everybody's a bitch. Everybody. No, no. If you're broke, it's fine. I just don't like. What I'm gonna read because I said this on Patreon, but you guys didn't listen. Not you guys. I'm saying the listeners. <laughs> yeah. I your money situation is fine. I'm not wondering how you afforded something. Yeah. It's only when someone tells me how broke they are, they're complaining to me all day long, and then I see them like outside buying design. Da, da, da. That's when I start pocket watching you. I have no shame. Sorry. Hmm. Maybe I <laughs> but a- I'm gonna stop, guys. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Okay. Maybe I get annoyed too quickly with bullshit. I don't know. I'm bad at this. <laughs> no, you don't. You're I, actually mad patient. I, I, I'm really no, trying no, to Alex, dig deep, bro. Alex like, is the most patient out of all of us with, really with annoying people. I really Alex try. Alex can tolerate yeah. annoying people. I really try. Like I'm because me and Savon can't. We just like won't talk to them. <laughs> yeah, no. Damn, bro, you got too much of that shit in you, dog. <laughs> I was just honest, bro. <laughs> Yo, look at us. Me, like, me and Alex are trying to like be like talk bad about ourselves. <laughs> I'm better at trying. <laughs> No, like, what, it is not even doing? me trying to talk back. I just know like there's some things I need to work on. And one of those things, like But see the thing I with know, you is what's up? you be identifying what to work on, but and never I, do the work. <laughs> so my whole thing be like, well, what's the point? No, that's the fun part of this <laughs> shit. That's honestly the funnest part. It is like, fun. It that is shit fun. is fun, bro. I'm telling you, like 
I don't know <laughs> if, if if anybody's listening. Dude. You know how they say ignorance is bliss? Yeah, yeah right? that's definitely a thing. I'm yeah. like in the middle. Like I know you my said ignorance. It's definitely your thing. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I if I'm oh. so self aware. At you just times, rather, you just rather I'm not just fix like, it. I'm just like, yo, fuck that, bro. Because if I fix it, I'm just gonna live a boring, very monotone, leveled out that life. Is like, so not true, I need bro. to just pick and choose my battles. Like, I'm not ever gonna put myself in a compromising position, but I might. You know, do things to rub people the wrong way, or I might do something that I shouldn't have did. But it's fun. <laughs> but it's fun though. <laughs> like Summer twenty twenty four. Like seeing the reaction you get from it. Like what's um figuring it out. Okay, that boy good. Dealing with the aftermath. It's like I <laughs> I did this. Let's figure it out. Oh, yeah, because okay. Savon, okay. I see he, that. I, I can tell that. sometimes when like he be like saying the first thing he, that comes to mind with the text, he just sends that shit. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> He's definitely like <laughs> didn't even. And like, I don't mean no matter. Like I we, don't mean any harm. You know nah. what I'm saying? Like I'm never trying to like hurt nobody, but. You know, sometimes you just got to be you like, yo, I'm out. human, bro. Like, and you got to deal with me being a human and then we can figure it out. Like a part of being human is also fixing things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my bad. I'm going to fix this. My bad. Was that gaslighting? Nigga, because I'm confused. <laughs> I, got, I, I don't even know what he just broke down for me. Like, I don't mean? know if he said he's changing. Oh, if he's not, nah, he said, "I love me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love he's all parts of me." He's basically saying he's gonna do what he wants to do anyway, and then fix it later. Yeah. Okay, all right. I guess there's a process yeah. in that. But yeah. I feel like, yeah. for example, like I'm the opposite. I feel like, like you're very like do now, fix it later. I'm very like gotta think first, yeah. Then send the text if you really mean it. Yeah. yeah but he yeah. like worries about it later. He's like, I'll fix this later. Like, damn, this is how I felt in a moment. <laughs> oh, you know, just did some shit in a yeah. moment. Like you was talking about raw sex. Yeah, and pregnancy scares. Yeah, yeah. None of us got no kids, right? No, but we all had pregnancy so. scares, <laughs> right? <laughs> so at some point, we all did something in the moment. Nah, it was like I'll be mad as hell if I got a kid somewhere. Turn right in my father. You might. Oh my god. Oh, you know what? <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Wait, what'd you say? What did I miss? It? Yo, <laughs> said I would have turned Damn. right into my father. That's dark. Oh my goodness That's gracious! Dark. Damn. Damn. Happy Father's Day oh, this shit, weekend. Oh shit! Happy Father's Day, y'all. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I love, I love dark humor. You think you got that gene in you? Oh, like that, all that, the, that dip, that oh, leave. No, I was no, gonna be afraid of that. But list all the men <laughs> that like, got like fathers that just left and was like deadbeats. Do you think? You got that in you. <laughs> if anything, I think you try not to be that nigga. Okay. Uh, if anything. No, no, no. What about I, you, though? You nah, yeah. I'm staying for the kid, man. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck that. That nigga getting raised. <laughs> okay. Raised. All right. He going to get raised. That's but fine. has there ever been a thought yeah. of like... Just dipping? I might have to activate that. Gym. Not now. Nah. Not now. Maybe if you were like extremely young. Right, right, we right. We don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'm I, not putting that on you, but I'm saying like that's the difference. But now, Alex would not <laughs> leave his kid. I think God would really deal with me. If, if I do left? my kid how my pops did me, I think God will really show me something. Like, so you didn't learn? Not saying that. Not, nah, the that's, truth? That, nah, that's real. That's real. That's real. God yeah, looking at yeah. me like, nigga, wasn't I, you the one mad that he wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't do that. I can see Alex being like a LeBron. Yeah. Oh, like that's a, LeBron a perfect parent. example. Yeah, like what? That's yeah. a perfect. Like LeBron didn't have his father in his life, but he became oh, like the, like the greatest, best father. Exactly. Aww. Yeah, I can see that. But sometimes them, them guys do too much. <laughs> like being too the, good of a father. Yeah, sometimes they want to do what? too much. Stay there. What you mean? Because I don't know what that looked like. <laughs> like he's like, tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> What's a good no, father? Like, like, like so, what that look like? Sometimes the fathers that didn't have a father, they be trying to be so much of a father that it's like, yo, please don't be my father. Mm. It's like you're trying to do way too much to where you're parenting me out of your ego. You're not okay. parenting me. Um, just that. for the out sake of, of being a good out parent. Out of saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, I'm, I'm here. Good, yeah, yeah. You, you, you have so many blind spots yeah. on being a father because you're just overcompensating. And again, going back to that word ego, yeah. like I've seen it so many times where a father thinks he's the greatest dad in the world. And then it's like, dog, you are missing the mark. You are not hitting that target mm -hmm. because you over fathering. And I don't even know if that. Like, yeah, you're overfathering yeah, like somebody, bro. Like, like, like a helicopter relax. Parent. Just, yeah, nah. just, just mm -hmm. chill out. My kid gonna get half and half from me. Go up in the street, learn something, and then I teach you the other half. Because you need a balance. Amen. You yeah. need a balance. And I, I feel like you could tell the difference for the people who didn't have that. For sure. Yeah, like, oh, your mother and father just told you everything and you listened. So now when you became an adult, you're kind of you know. taking it back at what's actually real or not. Yeah. The real world. Yeah, the real world. Yeah, nah. Give, show them what a crackhead look like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah, honestly. Nah, gonna, that's real. That's drop real. them in the trenches. For, Make him make sure he you know he got to figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, yeah. that realness yeah. came like me. My real life lessons came when we were like super broke growing up. Right. But my kids aren't gonna experience that, so <laughs> I have to find some other way for them to struggle. No, no, no. This is what you do. You you put them in a Tesla. You drop them off one little dirty block. 
and you tell them to sell some water over there. Or something. Oh my goodness! And then then they hop right back into the Tesla and back home and sort of like scared straight. A little mm-hmm. taste of it. Yeah, yeah, like scared straight, right? Okay. You go right back home after you go to the gym. How how <clears throat> how are we gonna like? Yeah. How are you gonna humble your kids? That's what I'm thinking about. Great question. Because, no, that, I genuinely think about that because humbleness, like. Like that type of stuff really makes you like keeps you humble, keeps you grounded as a kid. But like me, I'm not. I'm gonna spoil them. Like I'm gonna tell them how beautiful they are. I'm gonna. We're gonna have money. Like so, I don't know. I really be thinking about this. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna make sure you emotionally straight. But you know what I mean. You are gonna have to fight for some stuff now. I can't. <laughs> I can't just. Some, some I can't just give now. you everything. You know what I mean. You gotta have to figure it out a little bit. It changes for me How's if that? I have a boy or a girl. Okay, I can it, see that. It's a completely different, like, I already have this kind of mapped out. You know how women do this thing where they have a list of baby names? Yes. Yes. I don't have a list of baby names. I have uh, a list of scenarios of how I'm <laughs> going to parent a, a girl or a boy. And that's how I plan on, like, mapping out, you know, that's the blueprint to how I'm going to be a parent. Your Whether poor it's a boy, son. Yeah. <laughs> Your poor son. I know that nigga. He going to get a little bit of abandonment. Nah. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Just for like just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Like you you're not gonna like, be there for him. No, nah, I'm gonna be there. You're gonna be there. I'm gonna gonna always be there. You're gonna be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's sometimes where I might not be in reach, but I'm gonna be there. Now figure it out. <laughs> Happy Father's Day, yo. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, you never even took credit for what you're supposed to take credit for. What was you giving yourself credit for? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the hot chip, about the chip? hot chip, chip challenge. I oh did. yeah, let's get back to him. yeah. I don't know what I was giving I, myself credit for. I, I don't know. It just like sometimes being African American, it just show you like, yo, you really wasn't built for some type of shit like that. I don't now, know. I thought you was alluding because I I seen a Kai Sinat, Drewski, and Kevin Hart. Mm-hmm. Kai is isn't he Haitian? He is. Here? Yeah, he's Haitian. And and yeah. Trini, right? Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I don't know how I knew that, but now you be known. Shout good. out to him. Shout you, to you know, so. Haitian by association is what Alex said. By penetration. By, by penetration. Oh. He said, yeah, "I wasn't gonna say that." <laughs> Oh, yes. Sh- oh, sh- oh, yes. Sh- oh, yes. I mean, I mean, oh, sh- yes. Hello? You guys are, I mean, yeah. technically, I mean, <laughs> nah! that's what I said, I, bro. If we have more thoughts. Technical. Episode eight, right now, I available on YouTube. Said, stop. You was, said it, and then and nah. then I repeated I it. I thought it was another phrase. Oh, no. I would never look at Reggie and be like, "Yo, you hate about penetration." At me. But yet. you looking at me? I was, I was trying to figure out what you said. It's I thought month. it was. <laughs> you know, y'all on Tondrin. Oh, that's crazy. I mean, that's my truth. Yo, yeah. Tuss too. No, it ain't. <laughs> What's your truth? <laughs> huh? What's your truth? <laughs> they be more uncomfortable than me. Oh, I'm, so I'm chilling right now, and they're What's they want to sweat it. You see him, right? I don't got no truth. I, oh, I now, just go on this shit. You just full of lies. <laughs> I'm just full of lies, bro. <laughs> nah, but I did see Drewski, Kevin Hart, and Kai and I do a live what a stream, mix. right? What a mix. It was a sleepover stream, yeah. and they did the one chip challenge. Yeah. I thought that's what you was going to take credit for. Oh yes, that's when my ego got ignited when I saw them pull oh, out so the same exact chick that uh, Pierre got us. I was like, "Holy shit!" They like right after. Now I know Kosh and I. He did this before. Yeah, with Ray. He did this before. Yeah. So this is not new to him. Okay. Again, just a little bit of my ego was like, "Oh, they somebody on their team," and that's what I said. I don't think they saw what we did, but yeah, I think I somebody was like, "Wait, hold up! This shit is maybe whatever." And again, just my ego talking. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> uh, but it was dope to kind of see them just do this content. Yeah. And I do want to salute Kevin Hart in particular. Yep. Like all of those guys yeah. are doing their things. I think Drewski, he's a little bit more commercial than Kai Sinat right now. We see him on the NBA final commercials. Google commercials. Like yeah. he's doing this thing on a mainstream level. <laughs> um, then we got Kai Sinat. He's like one of the kings of streaming right now and, mm. and he, Twitch. De- he won me over. Like he's genuinely funny as now fuck. He, they, yeah. They're all hilarious. Yes, good. he genuinely yes. Different like, lanes, different stages. But I do want to salute Kevin Hart because I think he gets a lot of the criticism. He is the A-list star out of the three, obviously. Mm-hmm. And to see him adapt in every single arena, like I know a lot of people talk about when you get to a certain level, you get certain criticism. Mm-hmm. But to see him a few weeks ago hosting the Tom Brady roast yeah. mm-hmm. in that capacity. Yep. And like he was a phenomenal host. It was a live event, right? Yeah. It was uh, recorded live to tape. And then to see him jump into this world and it's just so effortless and it just never feels forced with him. Like, mm-hmm. I just want to salute that man. For no, yeah, yeah, what yeah. is he? Is he promoing something? Like, why is he chilling with Kai so much? You know what's funny? That's a very good question. He did um, <laughs> announce that he had a movie. I wasn't going to get to it, but fuck it. You put it out uh, Put it out there. Right. He dropped the flyer for a movie called Fight Night, the million dollar heist, and it's on Peacock. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. And so when I see Kevin Hart, and we talked about this on last week's episode with Will Smith and Martin Lawrence, and we'll talk about them a little bit again later on in this episode. But when I see stars, like A-list stars, do things like this, 
it always says, okay, what are they trying to sell me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah and mean, that's just what it is. And I'm happy that this is the way that he's doing it. Like, yeah. this he's is a new super rollout. creative. It's yeah, a yeah. super new rollout. Yeah. But today, um, he he dropped the posters for the movie Fight Night. And I want to read y'all the lineup because I'm genuinely excited for this film. This oh, even shit. sound, even the title got me excited, yeah. It's on Peacock. And again, salute to Kevin Hart because he's the only person that I know who is on deals with Netflix and fucking Peacock and all these like, like just it's it's crazy what he's doing. But um, it's an image of Kevin Hart. Then we have Samuel L. Jackson. What we got f- Taraji P. Henson. Oh, we got Terrence Howard. And last but certainly oh, not least, got some math in there. We have Don Cheadle, everyone. Whoa. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, legend, legend, come on, legend, come on, clap it up. God damn it, what a star studded cast. Wait, is this, about wait did you guys know about this? I, I haven't heard nah, of it. No, I, didn't hear I, about think, this I, I literally think a part of the Kai Sanat stream yeah. was to announce this. Yeah. That's good. And the artwork is amazing, it's dope. It right. has all of the actors that I just listed on his page. You go check it out. When I saw Don Cheadle, god damn it. <laughs> no, we know that's a guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don's the man. He's a guy. I like Don. He's a I like Don. Yeah. I like Don. Hmm. And I know, I know uh Kevin Hart gets a little criticized. I, I know I don't know if it's changed, but like when he like got into his acting bag, people criticize him like, yo, you play the same role in every fucking movie. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I like it though. I enjoy yeah, it. Like I, I be he be having me crying. Yeah, when I you're good at a certain thing, you just gotta keep playing that role. Why I don't do, mind yeah. it. Whatever, well, just be funny. Like, why do you hate it? I hate it because again, it's not his fault at all. Kevin Hart is super talented. He's going to make buku dollars. He already has made buku dollars. Mm-hmm. For me, it's just different. Like, I came up on Eddie Murphy. Like, I came up on actors where- the versatility. The versatility was there where, yo, I was just as entertaining in my movies as I am in my stand-up. That's why I enjoyed seeing Kevin Hart so much on the stream. Yeah. Because with live stream, you got to be quick, witty, and timely. IRL. IRL in real life, right? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what Baddies are saying. Yeah, yeah. IRL in real life. You got to be quick, timely, you know? And to see him be- as adaptive as he was with a younger crowd yeah. was really, really like, impressive. That's like way younger than him. Way younger. It was super impressive to see. They're like younger even... than us. What? That yeah. Crowd, yeah. I love that shit. You and, know? and at times too, it seemed like he was leading the whole thing. Oh, screen. yeah. Absolutely. I got a confession. I stayed up and watched the whole thing. Okay, let's... let's... Oh, how old are you? <laughs> it was very I have, entertaining. I have questions for you. Okay, talk so to what, me. So where do you watch this? On your computer or your phone? So usually I'm either on my iPad, my phone, or my computer. So like, are you in bed watching this, uh, or no. are you like in the living room? Like, is yep. wifey yeah. right next to you? And you're you're watching yep. the Kai Sinat stream. Nah, so usually I'm in the living room watching. Briefs on because then in uh, your briefs. So, I mean, I'm sometimes. Yeah, mm-hmm. All right. you see, you just, and you're I, just like, I can't be on the couch ass naked watching <laughs> Kai. That's crazy. And then you're just like up all night watching the stream when your boxes and your iPad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know yeah. what? I'm not mad at it. Because, you know, it's all, for me, it's almost not cutting edge, but there's a yeah. lot happening that I want to be attuned to. And I That's figured, okay, we're going to talk about it here, so I'm why not indulge okay. if I can? I'm with you on that. Streaming is one of those things that our age range specifically, if we don't kind of get abreast with it or familiar with it, it's definitely going to leave us behind. So I definitely do hear what you're saying. Like, I felt like such a dumbass idiot when I didn't know that it, with Twitch, you could just go on Twitch.com and just... Go through stream. I thought you had. I don't, yeah, I don't think I've ever watched a full stream. I I yeah. catch all the clips afterwards. Though. Right, right. I That's catch I all of. Ki- if you mention anything that happened, I'd probably watch it through mm-hmm. the little clips. But I've never tuned in live. Yeah. yeah, it was good though, and I do. Yeah, what you about to say, Zaymo? I, I was gonna say I need to see the Kevin Hart, Drewski, and Kasa not movie. See, but I don't want to see that. You're bugging. I don't, don't want to do. see the. I don't You're wanna, bugging. You know, I don't want to see the You're movie bugging. because I think Kai. And Drewski in particular work better as improv. I think uh, they work they're better. Not like actors. I, I, yeah. I think they work better in that environment. Person, but, but it like, could be improv. I was gonna though. ask you. I was actually yeah. gonna ask y'all, and, and just based on the clips, because I know none mm. of us watch it in right. full besides it's Pierre. Pierre. <laughs> um, and, and honestly, I would love to know your insight <laughs> on the sure. suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we need that. We need I, and, that. and there was a moment I was out, um, up working late, so I did watch some of it in real time. Mm-hmm. But like, it just showed me three different types of comedy styles. <laughs> yeah, and they're all. Literally, like they're equally funny yeah. on this stream in particular. Yeah, I'm not talking yeah. about totality of careers, but in this arena, they were equally funny. Like I laughed at all three of these men mm-hmm. at different levels at the same vo- like hold like holding my stomach laughing at these dudes. So mm-hmm. yeah. w- if y'all had to choose based on what y'all saw, mm-hmm. who is the comedian that you gravitated to the most? Because for me. Oh, I know. The MVP, for, uh, and again, I think all of these guys are hilarious, funny. I was super impressed I by mean, Kevin Hart, but oh. the funniest one to me was Drewski. 
Yeah, oh. Juski's a fool. Oh, damn. I was going to be like, I was going to be like, say, mom, what are you asking here? Like, <laughs> it's clearly Kevin Hart. Like, See, that's what I, I yeah. don't know. I think there was, it was on full display. So everybody's going to pick whoever they resonated with the most, I guess. For me, I think Drewski is just fucking hot. Drewski, though, best, Drewski is genuinely an anthropologist, which yeah. is the study of, I think it's like human nature or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Like, well, the way he does his skits, he reenacts things like, oh, white yeah. frat boy or whatever the fuck. Um, but it's like scarily accurate. Like he's just studying human behavior and translating comedy into it, and he's acting. He's so he's talented. He's genuinely talented. He's like, so talented that he has a racist white man following him, and the racist white oh, man yeah. doesn't know that Drew is making fun of him being racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so <laughs> That's accurate. Not a bit. That. I mean, he, I thought it was a bit. But he's thought, always with him. I thought the white dude was an actor. Oh no, he's always no, he's real. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. He's as real as <laughs> he's as real as like my the, skin. Like um, his Drewski's Forex skit, where oh they like are, God. it's like literally like cult vibes, but it's like oh funny. And then they put that side to side with a real Forex <laughs> meeting from 2020, and it was like yeah. exactly the same. So yeah. shout out to Drewski, but yeah, I, I would pick Kevin Hart. I want to see that movie because Kevin Hart looks so comfortable. Yeah. on that stream, bro, and that's probably what I'm missing from his movies. You know, we were just talking about that. That stream, he the way he was cracking on LeBron, I'm like, oh shit, Bro, this nigga got the funniest moment. He got jokes for LeBron, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. I'm just so accustomed to corporate Kev and showing up when he needs. So I will say this though, he was very impressive on Tom Brady's roast, but for I sure. still don't think he was as comfortable as he was with Drew Skeen. Yeah. No, he wasn't as comfortable. Out. Yeah, he, he wasn't as comfortable. He was but comfortable. to just see the range yeah. and where he can go at this point in his career, mm -hmm. and like the fact that he's that. still pushing the envelope to try something like like. He's an A-lister. And mm -hmm. staying relevant. He's an A-lister. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. don't have many A-listers today. Like, I know they be trying to force these A-listers down our fucking throats. Like, <laughs> every day I see a new commercial, a cologne commercial, these new fucking actors and actresses. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, all right, I get it. He's popular, but he's not an A-lister. Like, I know what an A-lister feels and Will looks Smith. like. Like, Will Smith, A-lister. Yeah. Brad Pitt, A-lister. Mm -hmm. The Rock, A-lister. You know what I'm saying? Kevin yeah. Hart, A-lister. So, to see him go in this arena and just exist and just live yeah. and like honestly my brain is so fucking sick i'm watching <laughs> this live stream waiting for one of them to fuck up to get him canceled nah Yo, yeah. get out nigga. not he, that i wanted it to yeah, happen such a hater. no no no, no that's your problem nah, just listen, nah, I, see listen. What you're out, I see what you're saying y'all 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 didn't hear me out <laughs> i'm kidding I'm they, right. he, <laughs> me too Kevin Hart is so seasoned. Yeah. Kevin Hart has so much more to lose yeah. that one mistake when you're live will affect him way more than it's going to affect these two guys. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They are green. And then not only, it's not like it was just the three of them. They brought their homies in. They brought yeah. other streamers. Like there were so many variables where something could have went wrong. <laughs> And Kevin Hart is going to be the, the headline of the news yeah. if something goes horribly wrong. <laughs> like if somebody drops... <laughs> or if somebody talks about whatever the bullshit is, right? Like, yeah, yeah. he's going to be responsible. Mm -hmm. Like, it's Kevin Hart and, we're talking about. It's yeah, Kevin yeah. Hart. Yeah. So it's not that I wanted that to happen to Kevin no. Hart. Of course not. But I'm just sitting on edge as I was watching the stream and fucking doing spreadsheets. I'm looking like, all right, <laughs> if somebody fucks up, like, even when they call LeBron James, LeBron didn't know they was on stream at first. No, nah, no, nah, Bron called in. He called in? Yeah, yeah, he called Kev. <laughs> oh, I didn't. But maybe he just called them as yeah, a friend. Yeah. But you can tell in real time, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, they were walking LeBron James through. <laughs> hey, bro, you I'm are on stream. stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you could tell by his, LeBron's first sentence. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, nigga? He's like, yo, Kev, what up, nigga? Drewski yo, said, yo, no, wait. Yeah. Then, then Drewski was like, yo, say it again. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> they, were like, they were like, yo, bro, say nigga like that. <laughs> Drewski said, yo, what, bro, when you start saying nigga? So LeBron probably <laughs> called him because that's really his man. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like, I don't think he called him because he knew he was on stream. Like how, you call Kevin Hart and you think he's on live stream? No, it's fucking Kevin Hart. Yeah. So he just called his friend, like, yo, what up, nigga? Like, I understand that. Right. But to see in real time, right? Like, at the end of the day, in that arena, no matter what, no matter how many people are there, like Kevin Hart is responsible for that environment. Yeah, yeah. And so Rich Paul. Rich Paul called yeah, in. Yeah. Like, so if anything goes left, <laughs> Kevin rich. Hart is gonna almost be responsible by default and it's going to affect him more than anybody yeah. if somebody says or does something that's uh you know deemed cancelable <laughs> even though you're right though sometimes when you're just so massive and you start them that yo yeah. you can't and, be around everything and in the moment yeah, yeah yeah in the moment kai does a very good job of controlling things though yeah, yeah, yeah. like he gets it like you could tell he understands the balance between being super funny and stupid and but, then like having but not too relax. much exactly yeah, like yeah. yeah what'd you pull from it so for me like you guys said, all three of them, there was a lot of people there, but for me, all three of them were funny. But personally, to for me, Drewski was doing a lot. 
<laughs> so I kind of more so wanted to see um, Kai and Kev interact a little bit more. And even thinking down the road, I'd watch that movie first or instead of all three of them. Because um, mm. I think they're, that, like for me, it could be the perfect like father-son, quote-unquote yeah. type of movie. Mm-hmm. And I like to see them more so interact exclusively with each <laughs> other. And Drewski being like a great. side character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the son's best friend. But, I, but yeah. speaking of Kevin Hart's range, when we were saying a few minutes ago about how he plays the same funny character in every movie he does. But did you guys watch the series on Netflix called True Story that yeah. Kevin Hart did about his life, mm-hmm. about the extortion and all that? That yeah. was serious. That it was, was great. It was phenomenal please if you're listening to this watch i i like guarantee you will like it i think it was also based in events that probably occurred in his life yeah, yeah like right? he was reenacting the the extortion thing it was based on yeah. him and it was oh my god wait is, Don, is Don Cheeto in it no that's wesley snipes and yeah. that was racist <laughs> yeah. no no i know wesley snipes was in it but i'm thinking of another character but he that's may funny. have been i don't know <laughs> that's funny uh, that? <laughs> but that was you definitely got me. That was <laughs> God, that was definitely his best acting performance I've personally seen. Aside so, but, from like soul playing as that shit. shows that he could do it though. Yeah. He, no, has, he, he has that yeah, range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. no, it, it, it was fun and it was good to see it. And maybe it encouraged. And I don't even know if it could encourage other actors or a listers to do some shit like that because I think he truly may be one in, one of one in that arena. Yeah, mm-hmm. where he can do it and everything will be okay. I think they respect him. I think he mm-hmm. has the respect of from Kai, from a Drewski, yeah. where they won't push the envelope too much to jeopardize him. Yeah. I think everybody in that room, right? Like, yeah. I think he garners that respect, but then he also knows how to live and exist in that world. Yeah. And I just thought it was dope. I thought Super it was like, impressive. It was, yeah, it was really impressive because yeah. again, I'm just waiting for somebody to try, because the thing about today and streaming and the, the generations that we're in, the times that we're in, everybody is looking for that moment. Right. So all it takes is one person mm-hmm. that has nothing to it doesn't have to be Drewski and it doesn't have to be Kai. It could be one of the people associated around, associated, because again, they allowed a lot of variables in that environment. There is no cut. Yeah. There yeah. is no, hey, let's Scary. stop this no and let's producer. figure it out. There is no producer. Yeah. Right. Like you try to pull a prank and it goes wrong. There's there's major consequences, mm-hmm. right? And so for mm-hmm. Kevin Hart to understand that the stakes are at that level, and mm-hmm. I'm still gonna dive into this lane, yeah. it says a lot. Like we talking about just being live and, and variables and people who have nothing to do with anything, just being in a moment and trying to create a moment or or just doing too much. Uh, Michael Rainey Jr. Yeah, yeah. Michael Rainey Jr. The same exact week. Yeah, he's on a live. Mm-hmm. And if anybody doesn't know who Michael Rainey Jr. is, um, he's Tariq. Baby Ghost. Oh yeah. wait, what's his name? I don't Tariq. even watch that. Tariq. Tariq. You don't watch? No, that's genuinely. You watch Power. Come on. The first season on. I mean, the first, still first version. No, but his <laughs> spinoff Ghost is <laughs> the best. It's fire. It, it's like okay, it's not above the original Power, but it is the best yeah. show I like, out right I, now. I refuse to watch it. What? Really? Why? Because they did my nigga Omari dirty. <laughs> he might come back. No, but my my thing is he's still alive. I'm telling you guys right now. He's just gonna resurrect. James and Patrick is alive because they never showed his dead body. Yeah. Okay. Go back and watch the final scene. They did not show his dead he's body. He's like uh, Tupac. I hated that. Yeah. Him and Tupac got something. I come. stand now, by it. I stand going. by it. <laughs> Pop going. But, but you're right, because Michael Rainey did visit uh Ty Ty Lil. stream. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and and trying to promote the new season for Power well, It's final season, of course, for yeah. Power Book 2 or whatever. And yeah, he was definitely groped and assaulted by Ty Lil's little sister. And the craziest part about that crazy. shit was, yeah, crazy, right? Mm-hmm. There was little kids directly in front of her. Yeah. Like these kids couldn't be, a, some of them couldn't be a day past three or four years old, right? So you're right. Like these live streams, it, it can open up the door, a, a plethora of nonsense. And I think, I think she might have thought she was out of frame because I don't think she even once looked at the computer to see if. You know, if she was in frame or people could see, Bugged but out. you can clearly see based off of Michael uh, Rainey Jr. or Tariq, so just call him Tariq's expression. Mm-hmm. Don't call him Tariq. I'm gonna call him Tariq. That's disrespectful. I'm gonna call him Tariq. If he walked through this door, you're not gonna call him Tariq. I'm, I'm, I mean, of course, it's like I'm his call him big Mike, ass, but... It's like his major role okay, that's I, on right I, now. I get, yeah, yeah. I get it. And it's a and it's a fire role. Like he's really that guy right yeah, now. Yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was crazy to see. 
what's going on need to know family thank you so much for tuning into this episode but we need to take a little break to give a shout out at our good friends at underdog fantasy with a 50 percent deposit match of up to 500 dollars using code need to know that means new users can deposit up to $500 for up to $250 in bonus cash. Yep. So like Alex said, if you want to deposit $10, that means you'll have a $5 bonus bet to play with. If you want to play a little bit higher than that, let's say $500, you get $250. So like Alex, like Reggie said, use the code need to know on Underdog Fantasy. Press pause. Make sure y'all download the app right now to get that bonus and get into the episode. Let's get it, y'all. Yeah. You know who I would like to see because stream, streaming is expand, expanding now, right? Yeah. I like the expansion of streaming. First, they were starting off with the rappers. Who's the popular rappers? They brought them up. Then it converted into the movie stars. Since we're doing movies, I'd love to see Will Smith do that. Nah. Do what? Why are you saying that? Nah. Why are you saying that? I think he would kill that. You know, he, no, no. That's oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is so perfect. He's How you guys polished. know? Yeah, I think he's too polished. No, 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 no. What do you mean? No, no, no. I, I don't. I don't think he can survive in that arena. I think. I think he can. I really don't. Him. I love Will. You when know, he that's know, my man. When he knows, like when he's in on the joke, I think Will Smith is very good. Do you guys know who King Vader is? He's like. That sounds on. mad familiar. He's a on. young black YouTuber and like he does all the crazy animation edits. Him. Like I, you guys, oh my God, he, you guys have I've to heard know him. I've heard But him. this fits in so well with our conversation. I want to talk about this. Um, Will and Martin, you know, they're doing a good old fashioned press when they're hitting everything, yeah. but they can't, they linked up with King Vader. He's like, I would say he's like, I don't want to, I don't want to be wrong, but he's like Kai Sinat's age. Like they're all Gen Z. They're just killing it on the internet. One of the, t one of the leaders of like this content creation game. Yeah. And a tweet that went viral was like, what I've noticed that Will and Martin are doing right now is that they're going to other black creatives. Um, oh, no, no, no. They're doing what other black creatives need to be doing, where they're promoting their music, TV shows and films and going to fellow black creatives and colla uh, collabing with them right. on the projects. And like Will and Martin going to King Vader, it's kind of like them going to a Kai Sinat. Like it's, wow. it's that's like the same strategy. So I really feel like. Will on a Kai Sinat stream will be amazing. That. Like, what I do you mean? I would love to see that. I think it would be cool for an hour or two, maybe yeah. three, three. But really? I think what Kevin Hart did is so oh, impressive. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, Kevin Hart, he slept oh, there. Like, a, like a, when Nicki Minaj went on Kai Sinat's stream, she was there for what, like 30 minutes? I don't want to be wrong, but it wasn't the whole time. I don't, yeah, like, and, and really? some of his, I think Will Smith is really a person that would play into that. I, like, I think that's yeah, his I, character. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. You want to know what's funny? I actually, I watched, <laughs> yeah. um, and maybe I'll find this YouTuber's channel, but I watched a um, body language expert break down the interview between Will Smith and Speedy from Complex. Right. And it That's wasn't a anything. Alum, speedy. It, facts. It wasn't anything in, in, indicting, but Will Smith is just one of those people, and maybe he's just programmed because he's at that level, and it's not a knock to him. And I, I think it's admirable to see how he is so conscious in everything that he does. I think it takes a different level of brain power. Like when you watch him and Martin side by side on this press run, you can see the difference in just professionalism and just preparation, and just how they live their lives. And it's not a knock to Martin, but Will Smith is just always on. He's just one of those people that's just polished. He's just born to be the character of who he is. And I think Kevin Hart is also that at times. And I think Kevin Hart was that on that stream. But I think Kevin Hart's character allows him to exist in both worlds, where Will Smith, he, I don't think he is able to, Two at this point. I, I really don't. I think he's he's 55. You're letting Will down, yo. I'm not. I'm wrong. You're letting Will and down. I don't, I, you I'm mean not to tell me him. as versatile as yeah. I'm not. Y'all two is the Will Smith fan. That's what Absolutely. I'm saying. He can, he can do it all. Don't, love, don't let me with Savon. You mean to tell me as versatile and intelligent as Will Smith is, you don't think he would figure out the character okay. to be on a Akai you, Sinatra? You know what? <laughs> Mm. Also because like I Come remember on. when Will Smith made his Instagram. This was a few years ago. He yes. was he was late to the game, but he figured out. But he did it well. Like he did Played it, into it. He like did it authentically himself. He wasn't trying to be young. Like he really like knows how to like For sure. appeal to people. I feel like yeah, man. You letting Will down? Did you see Bad yeah, Boys Four? Why are you Why are you ruining? I'm like, not not I'm not ruining. Like I feel I feel like I've studied him. You're like doubting him right I'm now. I'm not doubting him. Maybe I am. I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like. He, mm, he's he's, all, he's a character. He's, he's, he's a always character. acting. He's always on. He's yeah. just always on. So is Kevin Hart, but his <laughs> on is different. Like, all right, I think Will has a better on. 
during this during this press run, <laughs> yeah. did it not make you cringe when you saw Will Smith on Carmelo Anthony's podcast no. say nigga? No. no, no, that didn't make y'all that. Oh wait, did he just say that? No, like nah. I don't know if that's in, in yeah, the, like that. and it's not. No, I, it's, I don't think that's really in his vocabulary. Try call him Drake. I think because I think there's a little bit of Drake in Will Smith. Okay, I'm I think in. I think when you are like that, a persona, there is you have to become a chameleon. You have to be able to adapt. You have to know when to use what version of yourself. Yeah, and so I don't believe Will Smith would go on. He wouldn't, and, and nobody so. would go on like a Jimmy Kimmel and do that. But I don't think he would go on another platform and 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 be comfortable saying nigga. My thought but exactly. He was. My thought exactly. I think he, but he did was. that. I think because it's Miro and it's Carmelo Anthony. And I think their brand and I think their relationship, their rapport, um, everything about them just says, yo, I'm New York and I'm free enough for him to like he 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 I just don't see it. Bro. I mean yeah, different strokes for different folks. It. I feel like just people say that about it. LeBron. We heard him say nigga with Kevin Hart and Drewski. But, but he thought that was a personal <laughs> interaction. He didn't no, know he no, was no, on no. stream. No, he, LeBron he knew, did not know he was on stream. Was he had hundred thousand people. Le, LeBron knew Kevin Hart had a stream. It was nah, posted everywhere. Nah, no, he nah, didn't. He, no, 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 no. And then did. like after oh, it was it was new to him. He called in and then he came to the realization that oh shoot, he was on stream. No, he didn't call in. He called his friend. Okay. That's no, what he right, did. Right. He called, you know what I'm he saying? Called like, Kev. Calling in is what the intention <laughs> of. That's I, what I, I know, mean. I know what you're Kev, saying. Yeah, I just yeah. want to like calling in is like, oh shit, I know my man's streaming. Let me call in to chop it up right. on the stream. Right. He just called his man and his yeah. man happened to be on stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. I, I saw Bad Boys 4 this weekend. I know we all did it here, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. You, oh, you and I did, Alex. Oh, oh hold on, wait. The true, the true fans didn't really. Hold on, wait. Hold on. It's, yeah, hold on. it's <laughs> mad quiet in here because. Wait, you mean. Will Smith's biggest supporters Damn. didn't see Bad Boys 4? Eh? Yeah, I, um, I don't have anything to prove to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so the fact that y'all saw opening weekend, would you like a cookie? Yes. We gods? Yes. We saw we gods? Um, would you yes. like a cookie? Because what, what she said. <laughs> I'm going to watch wait, it. Oh, I, wait. I stand with her. Also, wow. Guys, what I was trying to say, I didn't watch it yet. I was busy. I was busy <laughs> partying with you guys at the Tompkins block party, okay? <laughs> I was out here promoting us. Thank you very much. No, I was not busy. that long soliloquy from Savon about how he be studying him and he didn't study him and this I weekend. Read, I read his book. In. No, not that he read the nigga book and he didn't see the new movie. Wait, hold on. Can I tell you guys why no. that, that Will Smith low key <laughs> loves me? Why no, not? he don't love you. You ain't see the movie. Yes, he does. No support. Anyway, so you know how we're talking about how he's doing his like <laughs> good press run. He's hitting everywhere. Mm. He went to um, my favorite Caucasian. Sorry, guys. I was about to say Korea. Uh, whoa, wait, 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 wait. wait don't, don't laugh. No, don't laugh because <laughs> that's that's not far off. That's not far off. So he did hot ones with my yeah. favorite white person ever, Sean Evans. Yeah. And hey, during Sean. his whole interview, did you guys watch it? No, yeah, I, was no. So I did. I watched the full thing. See, you're, I'm a you're, real a fake, one. you're a fake fan. But I saw the movie. Yeah. And, and I get, supported him with my dollars. Yeah, yeah but what I supported every little thing. Well, did y'all support you, with your dollars? You watched everything that everybody else watched. But did you support with your dollars? Yes. <laughs> one view doesn't <laughs> equate to as much as to uh, the cost of the ticket. Thank yeah, yeah, yeah. I spent yeah. like $18, 19 dollars now, right, Pierre? I spent 50 Oh, yeah, yep. I paid the Spectrum bill for my household, so. Same shit. Anyway, and then I streamed it. That's real. That's real. Throughout, there's like 10 hot sauces. He, in every hot sauce, he like takes a bite, answers the question. Like mm-hmm. he doesn't really speak much about the sauce. There's ten sauces, ten different ones he could have made a comment about. The only sauce he like really shouts out, like, "Yo, this is my favorite." It's the fermented kimchi flavored one. What is kimchi? It's Korean. Who is Korean? Me. <laughs> look, look how you had to get, force some love out of Will. <laughs> I didn't force that out of him. <laughs> Guys, watch Will Smith's hot ones. The only hot sauce he's like, "Yo, this is my favorite." It's the kimchi flavor one. Damn, now I gotta try that shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. I will Thank tell. You. I just had to like. <laughs> that was so irrelevant to our conversation. I just, I just had to like say it though. Now you had to show your bat, your will badge. Yes. Like you really a fan. Okay, you know, moving he, on. Yeah, yeah. Um, you guys don't want me to break any spoiler alerts for y'all or nothing like that. Please right? don't. I, I will just say give me this. another week. Just give me another week. I, I'm gonna say this. I will say week. this. Maybe a little teaser. I'll give you a little teaser. Okay. And, I, and I'll give one too. Because nah, 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 some nah, themes. Nah, yeah, I don't know nah, how to do teasers. Nah, nah, yeah, nah, 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 I don't know. know. Yeah, yeah, I don't trust yeah, P, nothing I don't you gotta know. say. Nothing that come out yeah, your mouth. I don't know, P. You're a filthy fucking liar. I think. I think. Shout out to Alex up here for actually watching it. I think he should be able to, you know, just say what he wants to say. A little teaser. I might. Pierre, I still might vet what you say, but just keep it to yourself. I'm gonna say the same thing I said to you earlier. But okay, all right, cool. That was safe then. The thing I pulled most from Bad Boys 4 is, you know, throughout the whole entire series, you guys know it's the two detectives, right? Mike mm-hmm. and Mike. Mm-hmm. And Marcus. Will, I'm sorry, Marcus and Mike. Ooh, Real nigga fake fan. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even <laughs> seen it. I, I, just I was, did you support with nah. your dollars? Yeah, I bought the book and the audio book. Did you support with your dollars this weekend? Nope. 
It's fuck out of here. a lifelong Fake journey, ass. Alex. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I like that. What you lucky you got your attorney Yo. with you. You lucky you got your attorney. Wait, wait, you wait, 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 that's why I stopped cheating. I was like, wait, I'm really bad at this whole guy. I'm really bad. I'm so sorry. Continue, my bad. Yeah, but no, Marcus and Mike, like, we always knew Will Smith's character to be like the stronger one, per yeah. se, right? Mm-hmm. Or like the dude like that was super cool and cold and shit down. Mm. He has a lot of those moments in here. But I will say Martin would surprise you. For sure. That's all I got. For sure. Oh my God. And like, oh, like 21 Jump Street. When, when, Jonah, when Jonah Hill is actually the cool one. The both of them will surprise yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Will was still cool. Okay, but okay. you'll see what I'm saying. And there was one part, again, you know, there was one part like where... Spoiler alert. No, nah, I'm not going to say anything crazy. There was one part where I, I almost teared up a little bit. <laughs> oh, shit. So they did, They do give you that influx of different emotions throughout the whole thing. Yeah. So what's the last movie you watched that made you cry? I cry every day. Uh, Braveheart. <laughs> That's that movie, Braveheart? Yeah, yeah. What's Braveheart? How long ago With the was dragon? That? that was with Mel Gibson? Yeah, yeah. How about you, Alex? You ain't never cry, right? The Equalizer. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. What? <laughs> that nigga Denzel. That's such an Alex fucking answer. <laughs> that nigga Denzel was acting. He was like, the equalizer. And then I started thinking about how his sons don't be acting the same way he do, even nah, though they still nah, super talented. That's a fact. Wait, what but, part yeah. of the equalizer makes you cry again? None. I watched it, but like, what? None. Wait. I, you, know the, you know the part when <laughs> he shot the fucking screwdriver? The, nah, the drill? Nah, nah. nah. The even, though, even I didn't cry equalizer. I cried through, during every movie, but like, I, even I didn't cry. You, know, rem- you don't remember when them group of white niggas thought they had my boy? I remember that. You remember? Yeah, but like, remember. why would that make you cry? Though? That's more of like a bad black man scene. won. <laughs> <laughs> did you see two and three? Yeah, yeah. Did, did you have the same reaction? Y- yeah. Okay. Oh my god, <laughs> okay. bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fuck out of here. You never even cried. Before. I don't know. I just that cried. didn't make you cry. I'm not believing. It that. did. <laughs> what's, what's the last one you cried at? Yeah. What's the one? Yeah. What's the one? Yeah. Reggie and Savon. Me? Uh, yeah. the pursuit of happiness because I watch that shit every day. Okay. <laughs> That's Where why you still cry. Which part? Guys. You know the part where he in the, the bathroom. In the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> I just had to ask. Just you know the part? Yeah. It just makes me think of my dad, because my dad, mm. if we were in that situation, he would do the same type of shit Will does. So. Wow. Yeah, that's real. Uh, How about I, you, Savon? The last time I cried was on a plane. <laughs> yeah. Fitting. Those plane last movies. Last movie, though. Those the, plane the, movies. The movie, A Man Called Otto. Wait, what is what? that? <laughs> Y'all know I'm not a movie girl. Me either. A man yes, called you are. No, I'm not. I'm a, I'm a show yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a show, oh, yeah, I'm a show guy. Okay, okay. I, I was in the middle seat, too. So I couldn't really hide it. <laughs> Nigga saw you, too. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what is... What is this? It's a man called Otto. It's um Tom Hanks. It was a Tom Hanks movie. And yeah, it was just a... Hey, anything a Tom Hanks... It was Tom Hanks. It's a yeah. tearjerker. And it was, yeah, a man called Otto. Go check that out. Very sad. Do so some sad least. shit. Man, that shit made me cry. I ain't gonna lie. But Will <laughs> Smith has probably made me cry more than any other man in my life now that I think about it. <laughs> That's valid. Hey. From seven pounds. I think seven, seven pounds, pounds is so underrated. Oh my God. Yeah. I yeah. just, no, you know what, so you know what I think it is? Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. I agree. it's the most like intense, just meaningful movie in its entire catalog, but it's it's very slept on because you can only watch that shit once. Yeah. In my opinion. You're right. It I is, only watched it one time. It's a lot. It's a <laughs> yeah. lot. Like Pursuit of Happiness, I genuinely rewatch it. Hitch, I rewatched that shit like three hundred oh, times. Another classic. Yeah, yeah, Hitch yeah. is great. And you know, you you know, like the scene that when I think of crying watching Will Smith, I am legend. Oh, the dog? Oh, the dog. The dog okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. That that was the one for me. Yeah. That, that, that made me do it. That was tough. Oh, yeah, because yeah. you do love your dog. I just love animals. I love bitches. <laughs> I do, bro. I did it. We were having such a wholesome Will Smith uh, conversation. Bro, bro, I, gotta, I own, like, uh, my shout out to Mace. I love you, baby girl. Oh, but shit. yeah, my dog. I can't believe you girl. named your dog Mace. Na- named his dog a rapper. Wait, wait what? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong? Why? And the dog is a girl. I story? thought it was a boy. What's the story behind that? You so, didn't look? I thought it was a boy. You didn't look? <laughs> no, nah, we were gifted a dog. My family, it was yeah. a family dog. We was yeah. gifted a dog. Uh, my mom came home, said, hey, lady from the church, she gave us a dog. I'm like, everybody's Aww. excited. Oh, shit. My mom, she came home and she said, it's a boy. Oh. So okay. we've never <laughs> had a dog as a family. Like, I know some <laughs> families have pets and shit. Like, 
me and my family, like, we moved so much and we ain't grow up with a lot of money. We couldn't afford a pet. Wait, how old, how old were you? This was like eight years ago. I got my dog eight years ago. So, oh, so yeah, it's like I'm, childhood. I'm an adult. Childhood. Yeah, like, okay. Bro, in my entire childhood, teenagehood, yeah. and even fucking early 20s, I never had a pet. Word? So when my mom pulled up with a dog, everybody was just excited and we took her word that this is a boy. Yeah, because how else? Yeah. How else will we know? But I never check. seen it. So <laughs> I'm going to tell you what I did check. <laughs> yeah. And I saw the vagina. I thought it was balls. <laughs> I thought my dog, like my fan, and it, it wasn't just me. Like, my, you know, I got a big family. My family yeah. is like, it's eight of us deep in one roof. <laughs> All of us was like, yo, this is a boy dog. Huh? Um, so we named it Mace, thinking it was, and it, she was really aggressive at that time. She was young. Yeah. Aww. And so we thought it was a, a boy, and we named it Mace. And then uh, fast forward, like maybe four or five months later, one of my little sister's friends came over, <laughs> and she was like, you know, that's a girl dog right and we was like nah and then i started to notice how she peed she squatted and then Wait, i was I like know. i thought female dogs do the leg lift they know they girl, don't no guy no. dogs ma male dogs oh i didn't know that was only they, a... yeah oh. girl dogs they squat well my dog at least she squats like a lady Aww. but i didn't realize she was a lady what a respectable so, young lady yeah so she's like <laughs> the first trans dog She's not. Oh my god! Yeah, she's not. Because she, yeah, she started off as a boy. <laughs> she's not. She but not was by the boy. Not yeah, by her choice. Nah, no, she ain't no. Know. No, that was y'all. But she was giving aggressive energy, so she was. A, yeah, she switched over. <laughs> she the yeah. first trans dog. Yeah. Yeah. They get feisty, them puppies. I ain't shout out to me. Nah, shout out to me. That's my baby, man. Oh my but god, yeah. you should have named her Jada Kiss. Imagine if I named her Diddy. Why would you have named her Diddy? It was a boy. I named it Mace. That's no, but close. if you name her Jada Kiss, because I know how much you love Jada Kiss, then I you could have just Jada. dropped the and then you just call her Jada. <laughs> He's about to name a bad boy. That's crazy. <laughs> I could have named <laughs> Puffy. <laughs> no, no. I almost named it Puffy. You would have had to rename it. Thanks. I would have. You would have felt oh. old. Alex, have you ever had any pets? You had a pet parakeet named Jordan. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? I did. A pet parakeet. Nigga what? name was Jordan. He I was white, gray, and blue. Wait, are, are nigga... those the ones that talk or is that parrot? Nah, nah, just a parrot. That nigga flew out. That nigga flew away from me. Wait, how did? Wait, you... I don't know if he's joking or not. Wait, there's That's so it. much going on. What happened? How, you... how did you? Hmm? What made you choose a parakeet? Because you know I'm African at the time. You know my mother wasn't really with the pet. See, he said I was African at, at the, the time. time. <laughs> my fault, comma. You were just. I was. Yeah. I, see, I'm African, comma, and at the time. <laughs> Gram grammar is so important. Yeah, yeah. Even, when we don't, even when we're not writing sentences, I'll, I'll speak it. My mom. I don't, let me tell you about Africans, man. <laughs> I was African at the time. No, because if you African, you already know what I'm about <laughs> to say. Me, I was like, yeah, I used to be Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dogs and cats in in Africa are not pets. Them niggas, well, they are. Some people keep them as pets, but they're like wild. Them niggas is just in the street. Mm -hmm. They're like squirrels. I ain't gonna lie to you, and that's how my yeah, mom. Yeah, other countries. Are yeah, like yeah, yeah. My mom was not even. So she was like, I let, I will let you have a, a bed. You can have a pet bed. So I went to the pet store, picked it out. A what? A bed. <laughs> a bed. He's saying bird. Like bed. A bed. In a Nigerian accent. That's it. That's it. I had a, American, I had a, bro. My fault. I, 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 <laughs> my fault. I had a, a turtle yeah. named Shelly, and it oh. died in a week. Mm. Damn, bro. <laughs> did you even get to bond with the nigga? How did it die? <laughs> I don't know. It just stopped moving one day, and then we had a, my dad and I had a funeral for it. Did it drown? No, it was like a tiny uh, turtle, and then we had a funeral, and then we prayed, and mm. I'll never forget it. Wow. How did you find it? Like, how did you obtain this turtle? Why did you want to reopen my trauma? <laughs> I just want to know how did like, you find it. He's like, no, what did it look like? How did you try open a turtle? Oh, like. Just in the cage, it just like wasn't moving. Yeah, not that. No, do I'm it. saying, how did you bought this turtle? Uh, Where did you I'll get this it. turtle from? I don't know. Yeah, I think we bought it from a pet store, some some weird suburban shit. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we had like different types of pets, not like the conventional I, ones. I had two pets that lasted less than a month. A fish. Oh, we're terrible. One. <laughs> Nah, we, you, all our niggas Yo, and Zayvon was just like, pets? I love animals. Yeah, nah, yeah, it, it wasn't, it was family, nah. bro. All of my pets are family pets. It's a lot of us. Oh, shit. I had this one, one of my brothers, Darius, he Darius. brought home <laughs> an iguana off the street in Florida. He's so real for that. He's so real for that. <laughs> no, because Wait, I get it. Because he like, yo, we don't got these in New York. We never Wait. seen an iguana. Yeah. Like, bro, I'm so telling you, we that. grew up. Poor. Wait, wait. Now that I think about it, we was broke. How have you never told us that? That's a good story. <laughs> and so he named the iguana Donatello. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You guys were so in Florida, but yeah. did, how, did you bring it home to like New York? We drove oh my to God. Florida and drove back with an iguana <laughs> to New York. He kept it a secret and the whole time, bro. He put, like, did your parents, shake his hand. did they know, or he just did it? 
again, when you grow up without money and resources, <laughs> your parents will do anything to make you happy. Yeah. So my mom was like, sure, honey, bring an iguala, <laughs> like an iguala home. But like the diseases, no? It, nah. I don't know. <laughs> it was a tiny, it, bro. And then he lost this iguana in his bedroom. Wait, was it an oh iguana my God. or was it a lizard? <laughs> It was an iguana, bro. You sure, with like the whole yeah, the like beard, whole beard and if, neck. If it grew, I don't know okay, what okay. happened. I think it died in the winter. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Y'all couldn't find it. No I winter? don't think it made Uh-oh. it out the winter, bro. There's a rotting iguana in that house right now. Nah, at this point, Possibly. it's already cooked. <laughs> already Donatello. bones. Donatello the iguana. Great the fact that he caught pet? it though is impressive. The other pet was a yeah. stray cat called Angel. That's real. And we took Angel from That's real. the streets. And brought her to Delaware. Did I ever tell you I lived in Delaware for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. when? I yeah, yeah, yeah. I lived in Delaware for like a year and a half. When? Like um, why? Thank God you elementary school. It. I was in elementary school. It was mad random, but yeah, we found a stray cat. We had two. It was Tiger. It was Angel. We brought Angel to Delaware, and Angel, she was really aggressive. Like she, she was really from the street. But yeah, I don't think people want to hear about my pets. So we can talk about some. I thought you guys to tell us about your, your your pet plant that you like to. That, well, at the time that you made struggle a little bit, my pet plant. Yeah, remember that? That's oh yeah, I used to let my plant like. Oh my starve gosh, a little bit. who could forget this story? Worst. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes when you love some shit, you gotta let it. Suffer. So for the non-OG <laughs> listeners, Savon likes to purposely make his pets. I, I mean, his plants struggle and make bit. them starve and thirst and, and like not give them water because he likes to see them struggle and then he likes to be the one to bring them back to life. <laughs> and all of this started with a Will and Smith. And he dollar. is now back in therapy. Don't worry. <laughs> Y'all are reminding me why I need to stay in therapy. Yeah, don't and leave. Why it's a really good investment. Don't leave. You feel me? We was talking about bad boys and Will Smith turning the iguanas dying. <laughs> but yeah, you guys gonna check out that movie soon, though, right? Yeah, yes. I, honestly, I had a, okay. um, I, I planned on doing that. I honked at some I cops know. today. I love that. Because who gonna police them? Facts. Who? Some cops. I honked at them. They made some traffic infractions, and I honked at them. Yo, speaking of that, and I know we got mad topics to talk about, but you just reminded me, bro. There was this, oh, I was so mad. There was this train conductor, 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 a conductor train. Con- I don't even know if it's a conductor. It's just the person that collects the tickets on the train. What what are they called? Train yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no they're, I mean, they're, they're, they're called conductors. Because like, bro, what is we doing, <laughs> no, bro? Sure. <laughs> so I'm I'm on my way to work, and I'll keep this story short as fuck. I'm on my way to work this morning. And I travel to work during peak hours. So the train is fucking packed. Mm -hmm. Going into the city from where I live, the train is packed. There's people standing on top of each other. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those days. Like, it's just one of those ones. So, you know, there's off-peak tickets and then there's peak tickets, right? Mm -hmm. Peak 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 tickets are a little bit more expensive than the off-peak. But a lot of the times people just try to get over because they're like, hey, if I have a ticket, I'm on the train. I bought whatever the case may be. There was this fucking Karen, bro. (laughs) <laughs> this fucking Karen, bro. And it just infuriated me to see how this white lady demean this black dude on nah. the train in front of everybody in the morning nah. over $3. Wait, so she... He bought okay. a ticket. Mm-hmm. This young man, he bought a ticket. Now, he did have a ticket, and I get it. This was the last peak train. <laughs> This was the last peak train of the day. Mm-hmm. So the very next train that he were to get on would have been considered off peak. Yeah. And that $3 difference would have subsided because he would have been cool. He would yeah. have been fine. He said in his story, and I feel like he was lying because, you know, <laughs> niggas lie. But he said <laughs> in his story, like, yo, it said off peak. But this lady was such a stickler. She bombards, like she embarrassed this man, embarrassed this man on the train over $3 to the point where she's like, give me your ID. I'm going to bill you. I'm going to send you the bill to your house over three. Again, mind you, he did have a ticket. It wasn't the correct ticket, but the difference in that ticket was $3. So what I did mm. nah, bro, is I'm watching this interaction and I'm watching the people around me. And she's like, $3, please. He's like, yo, I don't, I, I don't have it. If somebody doesn't have $3, they're probably not in a position to, like, they're struggling. Yeah. Clear, like, just use your common sense, like R. Kelly told. Use your common sense. Like, use your fucking common sense. Mm-hmm. Long story short, I see this lady, um, like, hey, I'm going to bill you for this $3. I know what a bill in the mail turns into. That $3 turns into $9. That $9 turns into $72. That $72 yeah. turns into $85. And, and then it turns into an arrest warrant at some point. Like, that's just how <laughs> this fucking billing system goes. Yeah. And so... 
I look at everybody around me and I tap the, the, the lady and I'm like, hey, how much is it? She's like, it's $3, sir. I just give her the 20. I tell her, keep the change. Wow, a man of God. Just get the fuck out of my that. face. Look at that. Just get the fuck out. Look I was so, because <laughs> it just made me think about all of the young black people who doing the best that they can. Yeah. And maybe he just didn't have the three. Clearly he didn't have the $3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had to deal with the embarrassment of being called out for not having a ticket. He had to deal with the embarrassment of not having an additional $3. Again, he did buy a ticket. It just, yeah. it just was the difference. So you're going to bill him to his address. Like she pulled out the scanner to his ID yeah, to send hard. him a bill home. Like I was just so infuriated by that. So when you talk like, about why? that, it just don't like, yeah. I want to know like, why is she like is it because like her supervisors if they found out that she scanned it incorrectly like why does she feel the need to do that like i've seen conductors because i've taken like the train as well like a lot i've seen like situations where like it would be like a young girl or something and like she clearly has the wrong ticket but the conductor was like it's okay just next time remember so they have the ability to be like next time just don't do that and then they yeah, walk away nah. you know like why did she have to do that for like three dollars my new shit is pulling a them on them that's why I almost pulled that cop over today. <laughs> they made a citizen. I was, I was, I'm dead. I made a citizen's arrest. I almost pulled some notebook paper out of my shit. How how would we have pulled her on her today? We would have built her. <laughs> we would have built her little ass. Period. I would have, and then I would have asked for her supervisor because some people get in these positions of of authority or just guidance. Say that, and they drag it. Yeah, man. I wish I would have. I almost pulled this cop nigga over. Mm -hmm. They thought I was crass. I don't give a fuck. What he gonna do to me? I ain't doing no tra uh, traffic infractions. Facts. Anyway, I've I was done, so I've mad. Before. I was so pissed off because yeah. I know what that three dollars could have turned into. Him. Yeah, no funny yeah. shit. A new bill. Yeah, <laughs> it's a new bill. Yeah, Damn. and potentially not being like you, you. Oh my god, bro! It just <laughs> pissed me off so bad. I do think all of us in this room, if we were around that, I do think we are the type of people who would definitely help him and For step sure. up. Yeah, because yeah. like that is just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. and the crazy—he <sighs> didn't even say thank you. Oh shit! And then when he didn't say thank you, <laughs> it had to remind me why did I do that? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, how did you feel? What were you looking for? I still felt great. I felt okay. great. So about right, it no, no, that's, that's for I'll, me. That's why I asked. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, did I do this for him to thank me, or did I do this because I felt like it was the right thing to do? Powerful. Mm -hmm. And yeah. personally, I, I was fine with it. Like he went on about his day again. I didn't need to thank you. He gave me like maybe a head nod, a half a head nod. But for me, it was just more of okay. You know what? It is what it is. Like again. There were the 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 train it was, was packed. packed. Yeah. So if everybody just gave ten cents, he still would have been good. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you said, that, like she, that's what it was. For you me. said she embarrassed him. Yeah, so embarrassed. maybe yeah. maybe Super like he just was so like frazzled that he he forgot to yeah. say thank you. Know I mean, what I mean? And, like, and honestly, I don't need to thank you. I think for me, it was just like because when I saw him, I saw one of my siblings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I saw him, I saw one of my friends. Yeah. When I saw him, I saw myself when I was younger and I was train hopping and, and doing all the bullshit because I just needed to get to the next destination. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I saw when I saw him. So it challenged me in that moment to be like, yo, did you do this for the acknowledgement? Because nobody said anything, right? Like people didn't say, <laughs> oh, good job. Like, yeah. and you expect when you do a good deed for somebody to acknowledge it. Mm -hmm. And I and I didn't get acknowledged for it. And it was cool. Well, now and you have about uh that will acknowledge you no, for your no, no, good no, deed. No, no. <laughs> no. And, they, and they probably thought it, but didn't think to say something because yeah, yeah, they didn't yeah. want to, I guess, interject themselves into, into the situation. But mm -hmm. salute to what you, that's fire. Yeah, that nah, is fire. Man, you good. God gonna bless you. Oh, Not, and, and, yeah. that's how, and that's God how I kind of see it. That, and that's did. exactly how I see it. Like, yeah. It'll come back, but it's just Pay so, forward. it's mind boggling to me that as a society, we don't adapt that mindset of community. Right, like we definitely lost a little bit of community, and and and, and I know we got mad shit to talk about. For for me in that moment, like I was waiting to the last moment for her to scan his ID before I interjected and said, "Hey, I'll take care of it." Like I was waiting for the conductor to say, "Hey, don't worry about it." I was waiting for somebody else to say, "Hey, let me take care of it," because in the back of my head, I knew I was not gonna let that man pay those three dollars. Yeah, I end, knew it. Yeah. You the so, last good nigga left in New York. <laughs> this New York man, everybody mean as fuck. I'm gonna be honest with you. Mind your business. They be mind God their did. business. Yeah. Nah, real shit. So I'm, that's a normal day in New York. This is almost like a case study for me. Like I'm <laughs> doing the science in real time. Yeah. I'm watching everybody around the scenario. Like, all right, is this guy gonna go in his wallet? Is this guy gonna say anything? Is she just gonna forgive this? whatever three dollar loan and, and just keep it pushing like i was waiting until she literally got her 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 machine out to scan his id yeah. is when i said hey excuse me uh, whatever 
I'll take care of it. Damn, yo. Hmm. I, it just was a whole case study of society, and I'm like, fuck, we're fucked. May Adams yeah. gonna get you a, a merit or something. Don't, don't, don't you worry. I'm gonna get the May on the line. Nah, no, we, the nah, we, the we, we gotta I, do I something about this. <laughs> no, because you're the last solid man left <laughs> out here in New York on them trains. Real stand up. Yes. No, e even me, I don't know if I would have pulled out the 20. Really? It bothered, I would have put out the 10. <laughs> All I have was a 20, though. Yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. So you wouldn't have helped like, him out? Know, it's like, nah, he could have gotten to it. He could have gotten to it. In a moment, depend, did I eat lunch yet? It's like, that's nah. <laughs> Oh, my God. You're I'm stupid. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I, 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 I know I was going to help you. Yeah, I would have gotten But yeah, what you said about like <laughs> seeing them and then you see like your siblings or mm -hmm. like in them. For me, that's me with like elderly, like foreign people. When I see like on public transport, like walking around, you know how like they just like people kind of like push them around. They don't really like respect them. If they're taking a long time to order food or like to get out their train ticket. Like, I just like, oh my God, something activates in me so much because like, I see my mom, like, imagine yeah. like, imagine like my mom was taking the bus alone and like, people were like not being mm. patient with her, being mean to her. Like oh that could make me cry. Like I, that will bring yeah. out the rage in me. Yeah. So like, I will like help out any, and it doesn't matter if they're Asian, you know, if they speak Spanish, like I will literally stop my day, give them directions. I've ordered like people Ubers when I see their like, I could see that they're like lost because a certain train is shut down. Like something in me, like that is that for me. What Savon is mm -hmm. saying, like, oh, I see my siblings, I see a young black person. For me, it's like elderly people who cannot like fend for themselves. Yeah. I will, I will stay with you, ma'am. The need to know is still real. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Now, now we're that good we, people over here. Now we got all our goodness. Let's get to some wild thoughts. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Let's get to some wild thoughts. Rihanna and Bryson Tiller. Oh, wild thought. Oh, like I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Semi. Okay. <laughs> This, All right. this is semi about good oh, music. Fuck. I thought you had like some breaking news. I said there were some wild thoughts. I ain't said there were some new ones. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know. You're going to take right. it. Let's start with Rihanna. Rihanna mm. says she's not retired. What? Uh, but she's starting over with R9. If you guys don't know what R9 is, R9 is her rumored uh, next album, oh, which fine. hasn't been released however many years it's been done with. <laughs> and she says, I'm prepared to go back into the studio. Um... I guess I want to ask you guys, especially, you know, we have a Navy, uh, uh, we have a, Navy. someone that's part of the Navy, Navy. amongst us. Let's say, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, how excited are we for Rihanna? Is she telling the truth? Uh, how finished was R9 if she about to start the whole thing over? <laughs> I'm sick of her shit. <laughs> Rihanna, I'm sick of your shit. Because this, um, when I was like looking into it, she has been giving us R9 updates for like eight years. No, for and real. I love that. You know why I love it? Because I can relate. Mm -hmm. I understand what it's like to start a relationship, yeah. take a break, you know, figure yourself out, and then come back to it. <laughs> but then, are you are you like broadcasting it to everybody though? Like sometimes you just gotta uh, be like, yo, yo, I love this thing, yeah, yeah. but I need me yeah. time. Nah, and she like, gave me time to like other endeavors, and now she's back <laughs> to the music. And honestly, you're not a real artist until you scratch the whole date, <laughs> like ten times. <laughs> Every, all the big, big wigs, that's what they do. At least once that's or real. twice. That's, that's real. real. Like, you know what? The album was done. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, Never it's mind. Not. Never mind. Let's start fresh. You know? Yeah, no. I, 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 was, I was happy to hear that. I think everybody's happy to hear it. Like, for me, selfishly, yeah. this is wild selfish, but fuck it. These are people. Y'all fuck with us, right? I just want to see who she's going to pull to produce her album because music has changed so much since the last time she put out an album. The producers, the writers... Um, the song structures, everything has changed so much since her last album. Yeah. I'm curious to see what a album in 2024 looks like for Rihanna. Yeah. For me, as a fan, like I know what she brings to the table, but Rihanna is such an artist. And what I mean by that is a lot of her biggest hits, a lot of her music is manufactured in a way where the labels cater to her mm -hmm. in so many different ways that other artists may not get. Mm -hmm. And I think it works because she makes it work, but I'm curious to see what that looks like in 2024, similar to Cardi B, right? Like, right. I think maybe that's why Cardi B is hesitant to drop her album because at the time where she kind of struck lightning in a bottle, there was like, it was the perfect storm from yeah. the writers, from the producers, from the, the time in which she released, like that summer, all of it. So I'm curious to see what a Rihanna album looks like today. She's, she's in a different true. place too. Yeah, she like, got would it be, kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would it be like... I'm really trying to like imagine like because we don't even have like a hint of like what she what her sound is now. So mm -hmm. it's like the the famous update that people really hang on to is she has she has literally said this from it wasn't a rumor. She said it in a Rolling Stone interview. She was like, yeah, it's going to be all Caribbean album. 
And then, but that was a I few years ago. Really? I remember that, that. Yes, and that then, was rumored, yeah. but then recently she's been doing hella press for all of her Fenty stuff, just like Puma, like Fenty Beauty. Mm-hmm. And people always ask her about the album, and she always says something different. And recently, like a few months ago, she was like, "Yeah, me and Rocky have been working together a lot. That we're yeah. fighting over w- which songs we're going to use because they're all Damn. so good." She got to stop. And that. then, Damn. A month, and then now, a week later, she says something else. And a week later, and I understand she only says this because people keep asking her. But honestly, at this point, I just feel like she's just like saying shit. Yeah, I could see. That. I feel like she's just see. I'm not I don't gonna lie, know. right? And this is fucked up. <laughs> Buckle up. But the last time that she put out an album. <laughs> You said ASAP Rocky today, right? That's what she said. Me and Rocky were working on music. Yeah, yeah. And again, they happy, cool. But the last time I heard from Rihanna... Nah, nah, fuck all that. Last time I heard from Rihanna, (laughs) this is what I heard from Rihanna. Nah, this ain't the last one. This is the last album. Oh, the album? This is anti Yeah. Oh, got you, got you, got you. I thought you meant like song. It's tough. I mean, I mean, die, 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 This is so... Like, now, we do know that Party wrote this record. So Party Next Door ain't going nowhere. They should work he together might. again. Nah, hell no. Why wouldn't Party not fuck with Rihanna? If Party fucks with Drake and Drake is dissing Rocky, why wouldn't he... F- oh, you don't know how money work. <laughs> <laughs> like, so music and, and life has changed. Yeah. Life has changed so much for her. Like, I'm curious to see yeah. just what music kind of looks like. Because like, are they going to be ballads? Are they going to be party anthems? Like, I don't know. I think we're going to get her most comfortable album. Okay. In a good way or a bad way? In a good way. Okay. Good. Real talk. I think... Like, what she truly wants to do. Yeah. I think yeah, she's yeah. finally eclipsed and accomplished most of the things that was probably on her bucket list. But she, she was so busy at the time that she couldn't get to it. Mm-hmm. Like, when I see her in pictures now, like, she looks so happy. Like you, Right? She looks, like, just carefree. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't feel like I'm faking this smile for paparazzi. Mm-hmm. I'm faking this smile for pictures. And it looked like she genuinely loves being a mom. Yeah. yeah. Right? Uh, last song we heard from her. Lift me yeah. up. No, I don't ever sing that shit again. Hold me down. I don't ever sing that in my ear again. Don't bring that back, Ree. Oh. <laughs> My oh, fault. it was my for the movie. Fault. My fault. Whatever movie like that was for. Nah, it was for that. Nah, you're right. It, was, it wasn't for the Black Panther? Yeah, Black Panther. Right? Yeah. It was for the Black Panther 2 joint, right? Yeah, yeah. I, th- All right, I believe so. Salute. I need this. Yup. Yep. Love, no, I never This is what I, I... I need yep. something like this. She is so... She's the GOAT. Like, she's the GOAT. Yup. From... Yo, Game to you cause, cause I had some issues. Yo, you get what I'm saying? Like, yo, this this is not having it. And selfishly, yeah, this is what I personally want to hear. A, a mix of the work, a mix of this, getting yeah. back to artists who like we fuck with relevant artists. And one of the things I hate about like just music in general, just the progression of music, is the artists or the features that we kind of fell in love with, and maybe Drake and Kendrick showed us why you can't grow with your peers. But like, I miss when artists work with their peers. I mean, they still do. I don't think they do. Now they do. Like when you say work with their peers, what do you mean? Like on a production level, on a feature level? What do you mean? I think that because everybody's still working with you. I think I know what it is. It's it's the, the artists that we are core artists, they don't work together anymore. Like the ones that we want, like us, our age. Um, but then the young, examples. the younger artists now, they're all working together though. Honestly, like give me some example. Yeah, that's a good point, Reggie. Yeah, all the young artists click up. Like, give me some examples, Savon, because oh, everybody what you is working together. Okay. Some people are rekindling. Like you we just what? saw Meek and uh, and Rick Ross link back up. But I think that's a relationship, and I don't think they're peers in the sense that. Meek Mill was signed to, okay. right? Like, that's yeah. like calling Drake and Lil Wayne. They're not peers. Like, sure, sure they, like, their careers, the outcome of their careers are, are equal, or you could kind of debate that. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. as far as, like, their presence, their entrance into the game, they're not peers in that sense. Right. I think a peer would be, like, a Big Sean, a Wale, a Drake, a J. Oh. Cole. Like, J. Cole and Big Sean. A Wale and Big Sean. A Wale, Enigma, like mm-hmm. the peers don't work together anymore. Like Ariana and Wale, I think at that time, for this remix at least, yeah. like it worked because they were ascending or they were at their peak around the same time. Right. right. So I don't see a world where Rihanna comes back and she pulls back a Wale for whatever reason. She might. She might. I, I would love to see it. You want to know what I like about Rihanna? No, no. One of the things I love about Rihanna mm-hmm. is she doesn't want to do the conventional shit. Mm-hmm. I've always loved that about her because I see her myself in that real shit. So mm-hmm. she's the type to be like, 
I'm going to go to Lower East Side with my man, no security. We outside. I don't give a fuck. With, like, I, I'm so into that. Yeah, she was at Pergola the other night. <laughs> like, come Ooh, on, can really? I just say something? Alex, just you're going you're to love this. You yeah. know how you said, I see myself in her? Yeah. There's something about her that you're like, whoa, I see myself in her? For sure. She has so many Aries placements. I knew it. No, I'm not even joking, right? I know that's annoying I for people. I know that's annoying for people who aren't into astrology, but people who love Rihanna knows she acts like an Aries. What, is that, what does that mean? In she's English? a Pisces, though, Pierre. So. Oh my god, fucking nah, no! Nah, we got we got the same birthday. Shout out to my birthday Period. twin. Hello, hey, that's a good birthday twin. Yeah. But yeah, she's very twin. fiery, very Aries, yeah. very like independent, like, out of the yeah. box. Just does what she wants to do. Yes, yeah. like even if so, like if somebody recommends something to her and she doesn't like it. Now she's definitely not gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Like I see that in her, so I could definitely see her pulling like a Wale or going back, especially because because so. I, I think she's so. going, she's, she's really comfortable right now. Yeah, she's not being forced yeah, yeah. or pressured by anybody. Yeah. A label can't pressure her to do nothing. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> and, you know the the things that make me love an artist is like yeah. their album cuts. Yeah, and I think Be that's sad. where Rihanna was able to like capture me in the quote unquote Navy. Right, it's the album cuts for me. Like she has some of the best album mm -hmm. cuts. It's not just the singles. Like, I don't think this was, let me see. Is this song? No, absolutely. This was not a single. This is not a single. I love this though. I can't believe this album didn't win a Grammy. Think about it. It's kind of painful when you think about it. <laughs> this deserves everything. Everything. Which is why I could understand. If she's like, fuck music, because y'all didn't appreciate me mm -hmm. when you had me. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't know. I'm curious to see what a 2024 Rihanna album kind of sounds like. Because she can do pop, she can do ballads, she could do, she could do the Caribbean, like she could do every like listen to this. She walked. Mm -hmm. Just listen. Okay, now we're going to do predictions so that we can mm -hmm. clip this when we're correct. Mm. My prediction is she's definitely going to have a Thames song on there. Oh, Thames. for oh, sure. Okay, beautiful. don't take my prediction. Hey, hey. No, no, no. I agree with you. Yeah, I, I want to stay with you there. I could abs I see her tapping into a lot of the new Afro Beats artists. Mm -hmm. um, prediction for me. Let's see. We get a super unorthodox feature. Like, like some, a rock? Just something we're not going to expect. Like an opera. Give, give a name, bro. <laughs> I don't know name. the name. Give like, me a genre. Give me something other than we're not going to expect it. Ah, uh, I got to think about that. You, can you see on a yeah, on give a me Cash Cobain feature? Yeah, that's like, <laughs> I can see it with a Cash Cobain. Give me something, bro. Like, I can see it with a Cash. Let's say Cash. Yeah, let's say Cash That Cobain. would be crazy. I, I can see a super unorthodox feature on that. And I think it's going to take... We're in 2024 right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's dropping next year? 2026. Oh my gosh, no. She says she's way. just stepping into the studio again. Damn. But she's just saying that. I hope so. Oh, you think that's just fodder? I think, she, I, I think okay. she's really just saying that okay, shit. Okay. Like, she might something be. two years away, I wouldn't even really tease it because it's like. <laughs> well, she's been teasing it for Damn. 10 years, so but it's, it's fine. Rihanna, though, bro. Anything she says, any inkling of music, people attach on to it. Okay, your prediction. Self selfishly, you yeah. know how Beyonce has been extremely loyal to the dream? Yeah. Like, that's her go to writer mm. still to this day. I, I, I don't know if anymore. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about oh, her going forward. Yeah, the dream has a lot of things she's going through right. But up now. until this day, mm -hmm. at, at the very least, up until right. her last album, we right. should say right. her last album. She's worked with the dream. That's been her go-to writer. Mm -hmm. I hope and I pray that Rihanna taps back into the neo back mm. as a writer. Ooh, mm -hmm. and I, I hate that I love you so. so I, I think they, mm -hmm. they've, they, they, they created well. some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love so, that song. And the way that. You know, the dream just kind of gets Beyonce. I'm pretty, like, I get, because we can talk about Unfaithful. We can talk about Take a Bow, Hate yeah. That I Love You. Like, those are some of Rihanna's biggest ballads, some of her biggest hits. Yeah. So I, I, I think, you know, I would like to see her tap back into that. Yeah, and that's made biased. so much music. Yeah. Like, yeah. she really doesn't owe us anything, honestly. I was just thinking that same yeah, sentiment. She's done a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your lie. prediction, Pierre? Um, like I, I was just going to say the sexy drill thing. I'd love to, I'd love <laughs> to hear crazy. her. That would be crazy. I'd love to <laughs> hear her. On that type of style, she's the type to do it. I and don't know. Yeah. She's the type to do it, like that underground trendy shit. Like yeah. that is so Rihanna. Yeah. I love that. About, you yeah. know what I don't want? What's up? Her to work with her husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's hate, bro. <laughs> Why? I, no, mean, what's I mean, with, what's wrong with you in love, bro? Nah, nah, nah. I, like, I'm kind of, I, I understand what he's saying because she's not a rapper. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And they haven't yeah, made the is... best songs together. Like, right, right, right. Like, I love right. ASAP Rocky's music, though. I want to be very clear. Like, I'm definitely, if, I'm actually anticipating his next project whenever he mm-hmm. puts it out. But yeah, for this one, for the, for how long has it been since her last album? Is it almost 10 years now? I think eight she dropped years. it in 20, eight years. Yeah, he, she dropped yeah. it in 2016. Yeah, yeah, after eight years, I don't want to hear the rap version of your shit. <laughs> I don't want to hear the ASAP version of your I shit. I just don't think yeah. musically, like, I don't know personally, but musically, I don't think they're compatible. They haven't shown that they've been compatible yeah. musically. I think ASAP is ASAP and he's in a different lane. Mm-hmm. And I think Rihanna's in, a, in her own lane. is Like, it just doesn't mesh. Like, mm-hmm. nothing about them musically meshes. I think everything about them personally may mesh mm-hmm. from their style to not giving a fuck okay. to, no, like, he's a New gone. York dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's yeah, from, yeah. he's really from New York. Yeah. And, and and this oh yo shout out to uh, ASAP because women just there's a or there's something about just being born in New York mm-hmm. where women gravitate towards it and Rihanna really being one of them ones and her being like yo I need the most New York nigga that Harlem. I could possibly find oh, New York nigga had to like get that. so then like I'm, and I'm not even <laughs> knocking the no relationship that. I don't know the relationship but and musically they're both Bayesian. they're both what Bayesian. okay. Oh, both, I didn't know. They have time. Yeah, yeah. 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 I didn't know A side or something. But mm-hmm. so yeah, it works from there. I'm just talking like musically, they haven't made it work, and they probably yeah. gonna look at us if they ever see this. And be like fuck out of here, nigga. You don't know what you're talking about. Nah, yeah, they're but definitely me, saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. I like, when, still. I like when Rihanna raps though, like in loyalty, yeah. which is bad. I'm now. Like that she sounds hard. good when she does it. That was hard. with Kendrick. Yeah, that was super yeah. hard. Loyalty, but now A side. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't want her to work with. Yeah. But also, um, just so random, like you know how you're saying, like Rihanna is probably like the baddest girl that everybody wants, and she wanted with a New York guy. Yeah, they said I saw a tweet the other day. I kind of agree with it. You know how Tyla's like the hottest thing right now. Tyla, mm-hmm. she's young, she's fresh, she's wow. beautiful. I think she's gonna want it with a New York guy. Wow, she could have had Kai kind of. No, but we friends though. <laughs> yeah, now after that one, to add to what you're saying really quick, and we can get out of here because I want to get the Bryce and Tyler too. Salute to the women Afro beats right now. Oh my gosh, yes. All right. I don't know if anyone is paying attention. I know a lot of people just like to pay attention to the numbers and if blogs are picking it up and reposting it. Ira Star, Thames. Yeah, Ira been a yeah. Ira, and um Ira, Tyler, Tyler have Tyler. put out amazing Afro themed mm-hmm. albums this year. Yeah. Please, if you have like not top tier music. Like top tier music. Yeah. Most recently, Thames, as we record in this episode, mm-hmm. and it's they're doing a great job. Like it's, it's it's very reminiscent of when DeVito, Burner Boy, and Wizkid was all mm. popping layeredly. My God. Okay, what I'm saying? Now, it's a again, movement. It's a movement. It's a movement. That's what I'm getting at. And I'm yeah, not saying yeah, it's the, the same. African girls are definitely taking it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it's the same numbers as of yet. Mm. Of course, with Thames, Thames has been out of here. Mm. But th- I see what they're doing. And please go check out those albums if you haven't. They're really, really good projects. They've taken me back. What, yeah. what, what'd, you, what'd you think of Thames' ti- Tiny Desk? Thames' Tiny Desk was Thames. It was I think okay. I was really, really surprised yeah. at how much she sound like the records. Yeah, yeah. I saw. Exactly the like, same. Like, she sounds exactly like the records. Like, yeah. the thing about me, the artists that I gravitate towards, I appreciate them for who they are at, like, their rawest form. Mm-hmm. And I think a live performance will show you an artist at their rawest form as far as, like, yeah, performance. For sure. She, she was, like, she, yeah, she was she great. Got it. I wish she didn't perform so many new songs. Gotcha. I was mad Promoting. she didn't tap back into her like, got, catalog. Got like, yeah. There were so many songs I was waiting for her to perform and then she yeah. kept saying, so for my next song, that's the new one. I'm <laughs> She'll like, be back. she got promoted like, out. damn, I want to hear that shit that like, I was fucking Bring us back to. to the classics. <laughs> like, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that was my back. only thing, but like, she yeah. sound phenomenal. And, and like Alex said, there is a movement yeah, amongst that. And shout strong. out to all the beautiful African women. Ooh, man. Iris Starr, if y'all are not familiar... <laughs> <laughs> Please do. Mm-hmm. She's not only beautiful, but very, very talented. Very talented. Super yeah. diverse when it comes to Afro beats. And yeah. beautiful. We said that. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you say that because one of my favorite things to do is, fine, watch, is watch is um, watch Neo live performances. Yeah. Really? Yes. Neo be killing. Really? I love watching him perform Sexy killing. Love Live. Really? <laughs> yes. I just, I put it on YouTube like all the yeah, time. This is why you're on the pod. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this, like, this is the exact like, reason why. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I told Alex, gonna, yo, she got a future. Tell, she got, tell, I'm a real one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, she got a future in this. Now, nah, I intro this topic with Wild Thoughts. And if you guys, that's the DJ Khaled song with okay. Rihanna and Bryson Tiller. Yeah. And uh, we've seen Bryson Tiller as of recently do a few promo runs. Mm-hmm. Um, His last album, and I want to get... It was self. It was a self-titled album called yeah. Bryson Tiller. Mm-hmm. I loved it. 
Same. Mm-hmm. I, I think oh my we gosh, all yeah. shared the same sentiments. One of my sentiments, favorite albums right? of the year. Definitely one of my favorite albums of the year. We discussed how we like Persuasion with Vic- uh, Victoria Monet and the wordplay. Mm-hmm. Ciao, Calypso. So, come on. Come Calypso's on. Calypso's fire. Calypso is one of them That's ones. The one. That's the one yeah, for me. Yeah. Come on now. And before he released this album, he released the anniversary to Trap Soul. Yep. Mm-hmm. And again, that was very reminiscent of the songs from Trap Soul. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, the three of us here are relatively around the same age. And Savon has a clip that he's going to play in two seconds because the press runs that I've been seeing Bryson Tiller in, you know, we've always heard how he was an introvert mm-hmm. and how he's a bit to himself, et cetera. So after watching him on The Breakfast Club and just snippets mm-hmm. of the Joe Budden podcast, I think he's a little bit confused about how we perceived him. So could you play that, please? When were you aware that Trap Soul was like a genre defining classic? <laughs> like two, actually, I would say like, man. Was it in the like heat of four it? four years. Or was it after? Like, yeah, it was like three, four years after. After. What is he talking yeah, about? It definitely wasn't. <laughs> and that's what be bothering me when people would be like, oh, no, it was, uh, when it She's came out, it was this and that, it was that. I'm just like, no, it wasn't. You know what I mean? I was there. I remember people uh, be forgetting, man. They be forgetting that I, nah. you know I, mean? like I saw the same shit they were seeing. But um, yeah, yeah, that was what I was struggling with for the most part. That's why I went and kind of into a depression because I was like, damn, I built up so much energy trying to make that album. Finally dropped it, got a lot of a lot of hate for it, you know what I'm saying? And just people saying they was disappointed, like fans and shit. Really? Yeah, yeah, for my first album. And then, um, you know, saw some bad, like, articles and, like, I was just, it just fucked me up. Oh, what what you talking about, like, release week? Yeah. Yeah, I remember release week, you... It was, but that shit left I ass. Th- so, I'm curious, if Bryson Teller at the time this is like 2015. I remember this vividly because I was a college student. I, it takes same. me back to college. Same. Right? Every same. time I reference Trap Soul, the same way y'all just reference college, I do the same. Yep. And I remember my route on Chipmunk Trail. Savon, know it? <laughs> Chipmunk Trail is from the goddamn student parking lot to the to the classes, for the building for the classes. Why did you guys call it Chipmunk Trail? Because they was crazy over there. It was a PWI. <laughs> you know, they're going to name shit like that over there. Um, I vividly oh, remember shit. walking down Chipmunk Trail for my classes, yeah. and Bryson was carrying me. Bro, I used to work out to Bryson, I, I, and which is crazy. Which is I don't strange. Know, but, you know, that. Salute. Strange. You did that. Salute. So, it, what, you, it, what was in your mind when you was like, <laughs> oh wait, maybe squatting? Wait, no, no, no. I can, I can exactly picture uh, Rambo. Rambo. <laughs> See, yeah. When I think about yes. that album. I think about how he came into this oh my song. God. This was my favorite song. Oh my god! You about to get me tight. I ran this into the ground on me my too. way to fail I tests. Like I all, still do. We, I bet. we all had the same experience. What? Yeah. I still we lived do. the same life. Because yeah. when this bass came on like that. Oh my God. You know what I'm, time it was? This I'm, is special. This is special. Y'all this is not special. hearing me, man. The laptop in my book bag right now. <laughs> I'm on my way to Kim. And I just hit it. This what happen when I think about, about you. I hear in my feelings, yeah. I start reminiscing, yeah. Next time around, fuck, I want it to be different, yeah. This is all I said to my ex. Lord, please save her for me. Just save her for me. Do Just this one favor for me. Just one favor for me. I to change my play away. It's got way too complicated for me. I love Live. how Joe wore this that. This is special. Oh my, oh my god! You see how we all got goosebumps yes. too? I feel it. I you feel, feel it too, right? Yes. I want to sing. I want to send this song that era, right? I want to send it to somebody. <laughs> Thank you. Like right now. Thank you, Lord. Please save her <laughs> for me. <laughs> Just save her for me. Do this please. one favor for me. Do this one favor. Do you know do how now. fucked up you got to be to ask God to do one favor Facts. for me, and it's being to yes. save her and, exactly and, for me? Like think, yeah. like fellas, real quick, close your eyes right now. Just close your eyes, please. If you're driving, please don't. If you don't got a wife if you do not have a wife i need you i need you i implore you to close your eyes at this very moment and i want you to think about that one well you want god to save her man, to you go ahead man. think Damn. about it that's deep that's real that's deep. how i got my wife hello Aww. hello that's, that's how a man that finds a wife think, finds of, a home. think of the one you want to save and then comment on our youtube and then lock it in and it's going to come true <laughs> see like that's like, how he got his. That's how I yo, lost mine. Oh shit! What you oh, mean? My goodness. Oh, sh- like, Lord, you always please, gotta take it there. Just, just save, save it for, for me. me. I get it. It was like an eleven, eleven wish. I get it. Yeah. So it makes me wonder at the time: <laughs> was Bryson listening to the kids' lives that he was changing actively, Son. or was he changing? Or was he listening to the folks that didn't understand what he was doing? Mm-hmm. Like, I love how Joe, like bad music critics. Yeah, exactly sure. that. 
because you know Joe asked him, "Did you understand that you were creating a, a um, forget what he said, like a, a, a genre defying, yeah. a genre defying thing with your music?" That's exactly what he did for R and B for sure. Mm-hmm. Like the influx of the Party Next Doors, the Bryson Tillers. This is what changed R and B to what it is now. Mm-hmm. Like I don't, I, I'm, I'm so curious I, and confused. I just, like, I just, I'm not really that <laughs> confused because like he, yeah. as an artist, you're like hypersensitive. He's like really self conscious about putting out his work. I right. feel like a little bit of imposter syndrome. Just everything. Yeah. Of course, he didn't realize how amazing yeah. his music was. And like he, you know, that's crazy. He also to said me, on the on the Breakfast Club interview, he said he was dealing a lot with depression. Mm-hmm. So I could almost see how. Dealing with a lot mentally could kind of alter his perspective of his own music. Of what's happening, bro? Here. During twenty seventeen to twenty one, I was like, out, like I was saying to myself, "Yo, where's Bryson at?" Right. And then he Ooh. dropped um, the deluxe. And it didn't help. It didn't help that his second album, True to Self, people also shitted on that. I remember that. That yeah, nah, was nah, so nah. bad. I, I, I loved it, but that people was, that was warranted. No, I like I like that album. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. no. The album did not suck out. It, it did not. She loved me. 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 Turn that shit up. No, that was, no, that was, that was that a totally good nah. song. Uh, it was. He, nah, nah, that one, that's the album you get depressed for. I ain't gonna sit here. You're running me dry. Oh my god. Don't, don't play, play with it. Don't, don't be an exchange. Shut the fuck up. Ah, this is fire. <laughs> Yo, I'm not understanding this logic. What is we talking about? Hey, I'm, I'm back, back and I'm better. better. What are we go. talking about right now? Won't you bad, bad as ever? ever. Don't let me just let up. Yeah, yeah, he didn't know. He didn't know. Wait, he hold didn't on. Know. Can we just? I know we're having a, a conversation right now, but I want to play a little game. Mm-hmm. So you know, at the end, yeah. when, it, when it's like silent, it goes, uh. "Don't." <laughs> okay, we're gonna. Whoever wants to participate, yeah. we're gonna go one by one. Whoever gets the closest wins five dollars. <laughs> like t- to time. I don't it know or when to, it goes. To like, the t- do you know the minute mark or when? It's when probably we towards the end. It's towards the end. Towards yes, way it's towards the end. It's like the last. I think it's about to come Fifteen right seconds. It's like an eleven second. Okay, yeah. Savon, you go first. I don't know if this is the part. Right here. It's like don't. Eleven seconds. Fuck. I said, say my first. <laughs> <laughs> so Alex, Alex, oh, wait, or Alex just all just lost. at the same time. Alex just lost. It's over. <laughs> Okay, no, we all do it at the same time. Alright. Alright, bet. <laughs> Who's the closest with five dollars? This, this is the part. Yes, though. yes, yes. Okay. Nah, nah. Follow. I got this. I got this. I got this. Uh, uh. <laughs> and yo, if you driving right now, close your eyes and do the show. Don't, don't, don't close your eyes. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah. I got it. That's crazy. I got it. Y'all Wait. not real fans. Nah, that's crazy. I got you. Wait, I got confused. I thought we all got it. And we dead ass did it. We were still early. <laughs> like, that's crazy. look at the moment. I think it's, it's, it's the offbeat, and it's an eleven second. It's an eleven second um, delay, or not delay, but pause. Damn. <laughs> like, look at the the music that I'm came embar- with Travis. I'm embarrassed now. No, you're good. Sure. You're good. Everybody, sure. everybody's had that moment. <laughs> you deserve that embarrassment. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Alex, Alex, that's the offbeat. That's the offbeat he hits that on. I, I he he just he describes it. There's a video on YouTube you can look up right now. He tells you the amount of seconds it is. Yeah. Oh, I on, forget uh, what it is. The Breakfast Club interview. He talks oh, about it. Yeah, yeah. I knew I, I saw yeah, it somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he was like, look it up. Yeah, it was supposed to be 12 <gasps> seconds, but yeah. it was like 11.35 because right. the engineer rushed. Like it's some real technical, scientific kind of shit that <laughs> happened. <laughs> For real, bro. Yeah, you never heard of scientific? Nah, nah, absolutely not. You never Whatever did the science on the scientific? Nah. On Chipmunk Road, nigga. Chipmunk Trail, nigga. Oh, <laughs> Chipmunk Trail. When Not I used to bump uh, Trap Soul, okay? okay. And also, too, to end that, you know, <laughs> Trap Soul. No, I'm befuddled. I got to be honest <laughs> with you. When I saw him say that, because true to self, the second sophomore album, I understand it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There were it, was not, it was not that bad, guys. I well, liked Reggie, it. I didn't, I didn't I'm think it was on that record. Bad. <laughs> when that album dropped, I'm not just saying this in hindsight. When that album dropped on my Twitter, I, I'm on record saying like, yo, I really like this album. Okay, right, I'm so, curious so, to know, what's on. the album you don't like? To, um, and, and maybe... Nah, say that shit. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot, but I just like can't find... I feel like we've talked about on this pod me not liking some albums. Roddy Rich. He didn't drop an album. No, the second one. Oh, uh, yeah. I hate that album. Okay. I was like, what the fuck is going on but here? But so- cool. sophomore albums are also really tough. Yeah, no, the sophomore and that's expected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sophomore super smart. expected. Like, and, and in comparison to Trap Soul, it, that's th- tough. there is no, there's no argument. I'm sure there are a few songs here that bump a little bit, but there is no comparison. And Trap Soul was one of those albums early on that you could play straight through. No exactly. skip. No skips. No skip. I don't no know. Skips. I don't know where he got this theory from. You gotta get out the house sometimes. I love, I love the transparency though. Yeah. And I love it's a full display of just imposter syndrome. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes we don't even realize some of the things that we're doing and some of the people that support us and mm-hmm. 
some of just, you know, the impact that we have on people who support you. Like you just don't know because all of us, for the most, most of us, I should say, maybe not all of us, because there's a lot of like industry plants and there's a lot of people who are born into, um, uh, um, you know, just resources, yeah. right? Like somebody like a Bryson Tiller, he may have put his work out there and didn't realize what it was doing in the world mm -hmm. where- He had it, this nigga wearing, they, he had men wearing Nike dad caps. I remember what that. What are we talking about yeah. right now? Yo, like the dry fit ones. Like yeah, yeah, from yeah. the from the um the cover. I was one of those niggas. We was all one of them niggas. I did that. Wait, we all a, did that. It was a whole new world. He that. wouldn't get the trends he started with the type but of music just, and the style. I believe in that because What's we we we, we are the people, so we felt it. Yeah, but yeah. he he was not outside probably. It gotta like, be. That's why I'm like, were you just listening to the critics or were you listening to the people you were actually? Yeah, he's probably affecting? like online searching up what? like the music blogs. But it's and, a true yeah. indictment, like it's a true testament, a, a true case study of Imposter syndrome. Yeah. yeah. Just not feeling like I am enough. Not feeling like I'm worthy. Not feeling like I'm good enough. Niggas never wore dad caps. No, not at all. Like Not for flying. But he's in that moment. All he's doing. Because he's Crazy. thinking about the time he got rejected by a girl at a party. Because that's yeah. his lived experience. He's not worried about all the people he's affecting. He doesn't know how to. Like he said it so many times. Like, yo. And shout out to just him doing press mm -hmm. because I respect it. one of the things, the artists of the Bryson Tellers, the Party Next Doors, the Frank Oceans, that genre, a subcategory of R&B, like those guys, they don't really give us much outside of the music. Mm -hmm. Like we don't hear from them. We don't see them. They don't tweet like that. Like we don't know much about them. So Bryson Tiller going on this press run, he's opening up a little bit more yeah, sure. and he's giving us a little bit more of himself. Yeah. And one of the themes of his press run is being uncertain, being depressed, not understanding his impact, like things that we would assume Heavy on that, yeah. because we, we're just consumers. As consumers, we make assumptions of, oh shit, if you're selling a product, if you're putting a product out there and we're buying it, you must know we fucking love you. Mm -hmm. But clearly he is cl like, he's a hey. prime example of catching lightning and trying to catch up to it. Right, mm -hmm. right. And not understanding that you caught lightning. I would have looked up and saw, oh shit, they buying a deck cap? That would have been my defining moment. Real talk. I remember 2015, 2016. That was the style. Mm -hmm. Put on a Nike dad cap and bump trap soul. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that was like the formula around that time. I mean, Bryson Taylor was inside. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> he was that, not outside. And now he's working on a video game, which he seems to be very happy about. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's his genuine. Yeah. He said in an interview, I forgot which one, but like he said, like, music is my second love. Right. Video games is honestly my number one love, guys. That's real. So, and he was being completely honest. But you can even tell from like his artwork. Like, yeah. I, I hate his artwork. Yeah. I love it. I the like anime artwork. superhero shit. I, like I, I, I hate his artwork. It doesn't. <laughs> Why? It, it just doesn't it match. It doesn't. It doesn't match the music to me. Like when I hear Calypso and I see that, yeah, I'm like, damn. Let me change. That. I don't know something about I, it. I like hey. it. I'm not mad. At, but the reason is it because it's Asian. No. Oh shit. Damn. I'm racist. My damn. Fault. Wow. Damn. I did that. So God is ass. It was no. an anime reference. Was it it really? was an anime. I'm looking at the cover right now. Yeah. I didn't know you hated Asian things. No. Boss, he was a boss in ten years. <laughs> Reggie, Reggie, don't do me like that. Oh, damn, say <laughs> Damn. But no, what it was for me is it just doesn't reflect the music. Mm -hmm. Um, but I like that it reflects who he is. Mm -hmm. Right. So two things mm -hmm. can be true, in, in my opinion, in my mm -hmm. head. And I, I don't. I'm not the fucking end all be all. Right. But I think the cover art is ugly. I think it's, <laughs> I feel it like, makes I me. I feel like it's fire. I really like it. Nah, that's crazy. I mean, because he it's was cool. he was he was shooting for your demographic. That was racist. <laughs> that's crazy. That's mad that was racist. He had no K-pop yeah. on it. That's mad racist. It was, <laughs> wasn't a lick that of was also on racist too. Why? Why am I just only <laughs> loving K-pop? See what you here. did. Say what right. you put me into your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> now stay right there, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, oh, I think it was a phenomenal album. I can't wait yeah. to see our um our wrap up, our Apple wrap up or Spotify, whatever I it is. I can't, I can't wait to see it because I know this is going to be in it. Mm -hmm. But then also like the Fuck. rap beef that happened this year. Because mm -hmm. we were re-listening to it so much. Y'all remember last year when everybody was saying how hip hop was like- it's dead. Was done. Oh my God. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. Yo, it's our like runs the last like six weeks, all hip hop. Yeah, I real. love it. Hip hop is back. Absolutely. And like, I think it's so, I was thinking about this during the Rihanna conversation. I think it's so beautiful how we are in our age, you know, 20s, 30s, 
because these are old farts here. So we lived <laughs> through Kendrick Lamar versus Drake. We were deep in it. We lived yeah. through, but hey, we yo. were young adults. <laughs> it's a problem. We were young adults when Rihanna dropped work. We were college students when Bryson Tiller dropped Don't. Yes. We lived through such great moments, and I cannot be more grateful. Yeah. Like, yeah. It makes you realize how all of our elders kind of grew with the artists they love. Yeah. And how they grew with them for mm -hmm. so long. I, you're absolutely right. I love it. We back. Also, I know exactly who my top artist is going to be on Spotify. You guys, wait, can you guys guess? Victoria I Monet. No, oh, I wish, but can, I feel Ooh, like you guys wouldn't know. Be? Yours? Yeah, I feel like when I say it, you guys are going to be like, oh, mm -hmm. but it's not obvious. Uh, fuck. Who's the dude you keep playing on your story? That Larry June? Who's the guy yeah, you it's going to be Larry June. <laughs> Definitely going to be Larry June. Shout out to my Larry June yeah, fans. Please comment Definitely so I don't feel alone. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. I, I definitely know Bryson's probably going to be in my top 10, maybe even top five, because yeah. I've been fucking with that song so much, Calypso in particular, but the whole album. Yeah. He's probably going to be in my top five. Um, why are you laughing at me, bro? No, I'm just thinking about Alex. This is going to be old, dirty bastard. <laughs> no, because I need to write a letter to Mr. Hove. There's no reason why Title and Jack, Jack, I heard you sold it. I don't know what you got going on. There was no reason why Title was so last place when it comes to yearly wrap ups. I had to go to my Apple use Music one last year and utilize it, and Old Dirty Bass was at number one. <laughs> Tidal, number one. Title is like the Mattress Firm franchise. <laughs> Wait, what? Somebody is doing hey, I money understand. laundering. Yeah, like, that's what they bro, I promise you, and Reggie, you brought this to my attention. <laughs> That the mattress firm, yeah. who is buying mattresses at the rate that they have a store in every single town? They have a store on every single block. The ma <laughs> bro, no, no lie, bro, no lie. I just did an eight hour road trip. I saw more mattress firms than I saw gas stations. I believe you. That's why I was not joking when I said that conspiracy. Cocaine. Who? The They're money laundering, guys. <laughs> no, so, bro, like title has to be because. No offense, Alex. I know you mm -hmm. try to get the sound quality mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you're a great music man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I can't wait to see how the APM matches the RCA. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. Nobody's listening to the title, bro. Nobody's bumping title. <laughs> Niggas bro. use title. You. They use, yo, if you use title, leave it in the comments. <laughs> nobody, like, you know why nobody listens to title? Wow. Because there's no podcast over there. Yeah, that's probably there's why. There's no podcast? Yeah, no podcast. They used to be big on podcasts. Like years they ago. They tried it. They I tried remember, it. I remember their era where they were yeah. creating shows. I do, because I did tune into a few. Like they Speedy yes. Mormon had one on there. Yeah, I remember. Oh, wow. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. like a, it was called like the group chat. Yeah. So they got to get some podcasts at That's the, thing. That's the like, problem. You, if hmm. you want to be a successful DSP, in my opinion, hmm. you have to marriage music with content with creators. Absolutely. Because at the end of the day, I believe now, now it, it, it varies because some podcasts, only last for a moment and some podcasts have a lifetime worth of listenership like or, or replay it, like yeah, yeah you can just replay it replay value um but the podcast keep you on the app mm. the, the podcast keep you the retention is just it, it, it's just different like as much as i love the bryson tiller album as much as, as much as i love new albums as much as i love like the music mm. after a certain time I'm no longer listening to those songs. I might go back to one song and that three minute song, even if I listen to it 18 times, mm. it is never going to give me the value of a podcast. Mm -hmm. So title, yeah. in my opinion, probably yeah. died because they didn't really gear towards content creation. I think that's a part of it. You're, you're completely right. I think another part of it is because they were last to the party, um, no one gives a fuck about their charts. Mm -hmm. Right. Like when you think about Spotify and if you're an artist, Spotify is really big for you. Right. Like Yo. it tells you how many monthly listeners you have. People utilize it to leverage things, mm -hmm. deals, etc. And with the rats, right. they give you like such beautiful graphics of like, Absolutely. yo, you had like 10 million streams this year and everyone shares it. It's just, you're just so proud. Absolutely. So with, Apple music, with Apple Music, you have the cities, right? Mm -hmm. These songs are top 10 in Cali. These are top songs in Toronto, top songs in New York. Because Tidal was so last to the party combined with their lack of um, content, it's as if you really just got to be a music lover. Because one that's thing- That's literally their only audience. That's <laughs> their only music lovers. Yeah. Which is, and y'all do a terrible job marketing. Because our loyalty is elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, it is. It yeah. is. One thing I will say they do really well, their track radio is unmatched. What is that? Like you could play one- Let's say I want to play a right, like a Beanie Man, Beanie Man song, right? Mm -hmm. It'll literally give me an entire- Playlists of that same exact vibe. Mm -hmm. gotcha. They do that really that, well. I'm sure. They do that really I'm well. I'm sure it is amazing. Yeah. But uh -oh. Uh oh, Spotify. Uh oh. 
But Spotify has that exact feature. Like you click on whatever song you want, like Share My World by Mary J. Blige. And then you click the three little dots and it goes, go to the radio for Share My yes, World by Mary J. Blige. That's what they call it, track yeah. radio. Yeah. Oh, so they stole it. They biting. So I just feel oh, like shit. that's why, like, I'm sure Titles is amazing, but it's like Spotify already had it. So yeah. And know? it's a, Spotify is a global. Yeah. Brand. Yeah. Does Spotify, yeah. Uh, does uh, Title have the uh, track blend? Where they fuse the two songs together. I, and out. Nah, I haven't uh, seen guess that yet. Who does have it though? Spotify. <laughs> I ain't seen that. I'm be honest. <laughs> Apple, they win because of the hardware. Yeah. Because it's Apple up. is really like disgusting when it comes to the user experience yeah. on all forms. Because the music, I'll play if I just play any random Drake song. Mm-hmm. Literally, any of his peers will come after. It doesn't matter what year. Like, it could be a two chain song. It could be a Kendrick. Like, it could be any. It has no curation for just Apple, like, randomness. So, yeah, I, I hate, think that's I hate like putting wins. um when I'm driving with that. someone and the driver has their phone on the aux and they're an Apple Music user. I fucking hate it. Because yeah, you can't, you can't just like put one song and then it like flows like Tidal yeah. and Spotify. It'll play like Ass by Big Sean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very random, very biased. Right. Um. So I think Spot Spotify may be like the perfect DSP, but it is. they don't have the hardware. The so, hardware is in the phone. I ain't gonna yeah. lie, Reggie. I'm gonna let you, I'm a because you know I have Tidal, Apple Music, and Spotify. When this podcast concludes, I'm gonna play you a song off Tidal. I'm gonna play you a song off Apple Music and a song off Spotify. You're gonna see why I can't lead them niggas. I'm open to it. With the same song. Yes, same song. Yeah, he's talking about like the quality. The, okay. It's it's so it's so different. Like. Because people don't realize when you upload music to some of these DSPs, it loses some of its quality. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So depending on what technology the DSP is using, it depends on how much music remains. Well, maybe they need to market that more. They do. Maybe right. they need to like double down on, hey, we are the best sounding DSP. You're right. Maybe, you know, like- Call Jack. May, I don't think Jack fucking with nothing. You're not fucking with them niggas no more? I think Jack oh, got his money. He got out. Got out? Who, who over there still? Memphis Bleak. <laughs> Shout out to my son Memphis. <laughs> That's my man. Shout out to uh, Durag Memphis Bleak. It's <laughs> my man. Facts. My man right there. Anything else y'all want to get into before Rock. we go? I think we. It, it's I feel time. Like we have great music combos. I think so too. Yeah. I think so too. Um, is is nothing that I can really think about at this time. Um, yeah. I would just advise against doing the one chip challenge. Yeah, man. I strongly advise against that. Also, we do have some announcements. We do have some really ooh, ooh. really dope things cooking up in store. <laughs> I killed that nigga too. I killed him. Yeah, he, he was hovering over your head for a minute. Good look, I killed him. That's the African in me. I told what you, nigga. The, yes. the, the way Saquon the, dropped is still funny. For the listeners, Alex just killed a fly with his bare hands. What the fuck? Is and you I want? put out candles with my fingers. He ain't even look at the fly. He saw the fly from his peripheral and he just bop. That hand eye coordination. Think about basketball. Alex's intrusive thoughts be winning <laughs> every, every time. time. <laughs> I try like, to stop it. Savon was traumatized. Savon was just doing the outro. <laughs> what the here. fuck was that? Nah, because he was, was that he little fly, fly. He was disturbing us. You don't got to do that. Now nah, we got to do that. <laughs> we could just wave it off, Alex. You're like a human Venus fly. Because <laughs> <laughs> why did you react so fast? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, oh, that's like, spit. <laughs> he was pissing me off. Yo, don't ever spit on the mic like that again, bro. What's wrong with you? <laughs> like, what's good with this? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. It's been the Need to Know Podcast. It's been the Need to Know Podcast. What you need to know, when you need to know on the Need to Know Podcast. If you have made it this far into the podcast, there's no reason that you haven't subscribed. There's no reason that you don't like, comment. If you're a silent supporter and you made it this far, you dead ass need to let us know how you feel because, nigga, you're a fiend. Because <laughs> why the fuck are you here still? And you don't say anything. Um, I will take us out with my own bias. I'm sorry. Y'all may hate me and it's cool. S to the A-V. No. O-N. <laughs> but oh, my bad. It's summertime. Oh yeah, this is this that new joint with Pitbull, right? Summertime. This is Save definitely on. a vibe. Oh, I heard this. I'm like, yo, is this? this is definitely his shit right now. You got it. It's summertime. You yeah, know what it reminds me of? It's very like pop. Like it's Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide, baby. <laughs> Mr. You 305, baby. Mr. 305. This is a worldwide podcast. <laughs> I like we that. We got Asia. Yeah. We got Africa. Yeah, in America. We got North America. <laughs> we got Haiti. <laughs> Big IT. IT. Yeah, that's it. I just want to get you know what song remind me of? What happened? Like Sweet Sixteens. <laughs> like FIFA. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a song on FIFA. I know. <laughs> it's the Needs and No Podcast. Please, we will be back again next week. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Thank y'all for tapping in. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And yeah, make us worldwide. Fuck it. We out of here, man. Gang.